Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. How's everybody doing today? Let me see if I can. There we go. Hi, Patty. How are you doing today? We're on, it's already Wednesday. I'm not complaining. Gino will be down in a second. He um, is running a little late today. I see Jerry in here. Hello. How are you? We got the mushrooms. Doing good. Yeah, pretty good for a Wednesday, I guess. <laughs> awesome. We have some fun items today. I don't know if you can see behind me, but we have some ephemera packs. I have packs of cards, vintage cards. We have a bunch of these um, flocked animals. They're from Hong Kong. Um. So I have a bunch of these today, different ones. Some of them have wear, some of them don't. So it's kind of a mix. Um, and I have more over here that I didn't put out yet. So we have a lot of little animals. We've got some salt and peppers. Gina went through yesterday and priced a whole bunch of the salt and peppers. He got through almost all of them, I would say. Um, the Christmas ones and the anthropomorphic ones are not here. These are just the regular salt and peppers. So if there's a set that you're interested in, he can maybe, um, he's going to show some of them. But if there's a specific set, let him know. Hi, Bree. And the weirdest thing, we were going through, you know, pricing the salt and peppers, or he was, um, and... Some of them are worth like a hundred and something dollars or that's a sold comp on eBay. I don't know why it was a plastic set of strawberries and they consistently sold for 80 to over a hundred dollars. I don't know what the story is with those. It's actually right here on top. It's these ones right here. If you have a minute, look these up on eBay. I don't know what the story is. They're plastic. This is plastic. I don't know if these are plastic too. I think they are. No idea what the story is on those. Hi, Bree. How are you doing today? You see Cookie Monster? Yep, he's available today. Well, all kinds of goodies. Um, lots of salt and peppers. Beautiful enamel wear. I have um, a big stack of vintage wrapping paper, a vintage wrapping paper lot for sale. We have a scrapbook. Um, as always, we do have our mystery bags, three, five, and 10. Those are the jewelry mystery bags. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Chicago lady. Um, we have our ephemera lots for 15. I do have a few of those left. A pencil pull. And we have ashtrays, those vintage ashtrays and the vintage cello picks. If you were at the last sale, I'm sure you saw those. Um, but if you're interested in seeing those, um, the cello picks are $2 for a little bag. And then the ashtrays are a set of four for $5. So those are our random items that we have today. What would you like to see first? We can just jump right in. You know what? I forgot to plug my phone into my charger. And old Gino's going to say, you didn't plug your phone in. Well, now let's talk. I got my not today Satan shirt on. <laughs> I thought it was appropriate. He made, um, I woke up this morning. And I usually get up about 10.30 because I work um, late. Well, he's going to have to plug that in. And I could smell something, and I'm like, what is that? Like, what is he cooking? He made kielbasa. So 
<gasps> oh. Oh, Patty, that's exciting. Not a problem. Get some puppies. I don't want a puppy. My dogs would hate it. They're senior dogs, so they're not about that. <laughs> All right, so we got my phone plugged in here. I think we are good. Everyone's doing well today. Someone's getting puppies. Hmm, okay. No worries. Oh, hi, Carrie Ann. I didn't even see you there. I didn't even forget. Anyway, oh, I woke up this morning and I smelled something and I'm like, what is that smell? Well, if you've ever had kielbasa, it's a very strong smell. So we just had a piece of kielbasa for breakfast, lunch, I guess. <laughs> So, oh, my dog apparently loves kielbasa. She is the little one, and she's a very picky eater, but she was like, she was like a cookie monster for it. So, I was giving her some. Our, our older one, um, the bigger one, Sophie, she's been sick because she had like a vertigo for dogs. And so, we've been trying everything to get her to eat. And she eats a little bit, but she's not back to normal eating. She's still feeling a little under the weather, but that can make you nauseous having that. So that's not fun. All right. We have 10 people in here. That's awesome. What would you like to see first? Salt and pepper, ephemera, maybe um, one of these flocked Hong Kong animals. I have some um, kitchen stuff, enamelware, a sifter. I have an egg separator. What would you like to see? Who wants to pick the first item today? Type it in chat. We have wrapping at a wrapping paper lot here. And there is a piece of strawberry shortcake in there, I saw. Wrapping paper lot is pretty cool. Ephemera. Okay, let's do it. We have several different ephemera pieces, and I would count the wrapping paper lot as ephemera as well. But I will show you, I have these three greeting card lots here. Kielbasa and eggs. Oh, you did? Do you know the people out in California have never, they don't know what kielbasa is. They know what, like, um, like your breakfast sausage style. They call that kielbasa, like the sausages. But like Polish kielbasa, they have no idea. So Gina would have it packed in ice from Ohio and shipped when we lived in California. He would ship a box out to us. I would cook it or we would cook it and I would take some to work with me. And people were just like, what is this? They were like tripped out for sure. Um, so I have three of these lots. These are all old greeting cards. You get a pretty good stack. It's $20 for choice. Um, and there's some really cool ones in here. I think they are mostly unused. So these are all new greeting cards. There's some really cute ones in here. That's like an old American greetings one. I'll show you some in this lot right here. This is lot one. We got birthday cards. There's some funny ones um, in here. Here comes Gino clumping down the stairs. Yeah, most of these are unused. I think these are all new old stock, basically. Got a water. Probably from like the 70s. Some of them maybe a li little um, older. Yes. Thank you, Bree. Oh, thank you, Patty. So there's quite a few in here. Um, I would say all of them unused. Great for crafting. You could still send them out as cards. This is lot one. I'll show you a little bit on lot two. Let me 
me just write down lot one on this. It's getting closer to Springfield. We're getting excited. Just a couple more weeks, I think. We're almost in September. This is lot two. Got the little elephant with the clown. Pretty good stack there too. And these are old cards. If you want to start this out at 15, we can do that as well. Um, just let me know. But this is lot two. And then lot three. These are great for junk journaling, crafting, or you can still use these as cards. Lot three has a really cute ducky. Let me see if I can get it out. There we go. Yeah, thank you for lowering that, Patty, for me. So the bags of cards are $15, and you get the whole stack. And I think they are mostly unused. I guess I'm great for crafting or using whichever you prefer. Lot one, two, and three. I have to write that on that one. All right. Up next, and we can come back to this if you want, or if you want to see more of the cards in a specific lot, let me know. Set these right up here. All right. We have a vintage wrapping paper lot here. $15 start on this lot as well. You're going to get some bits and pieces of like vintage old wrapping paper in here. The really thin stuff. You get a bunch of that. Some Snoopy. Some Heathcliff. Little ballerina. This looks like a wedding type. Look at these adorable babies. Two of those. New in the package transformer wrapping paper. Does that have a year on it? 1984 on this one. This is like a video game, like Atari style wrapping paper. New in the package, Mickey Mouse wrap. This is the Walt Disney Company, Gibson from Toys R Us, still in the package. I don't see a date on it, but it is Toys R Us uh, Disney character wrap, Mickey Mouse. You can scoot over here, Bob, if you want. We got strawberry shortcake. Some baby ones. Again, this whole lot is $15. These two here. A wedding, beautiful wedding embossed. Baby in the wrap. This is like a um, Gibson wrapping paper. A lot of new in the package wrapping paper, and I know sometimes this can sell for pretty good money. But we have quite a few of the ones still in the in the package. This is like an outer space, and then it's all occasion, so there's all different wrap in there. I remember that from when I was younger. Here's a mix of Christmas um, ones. Another mix of Christmas in here floral. This says for your shower. Very like 70s looking. Baby. Look at this one. How psychedelic is that? Look at the clowns. It says put on a happy face. 
happy everything. Roses, uh, blue and pink baby, panda bears, little animals, and then some flowers with butterflies. So that whole lot of wrapping paper, $15, $15 start on that lot. And it's got some really neat stuff. If you scrapbook or do your junk journals, you can definitely use this in your craft projects. There's some really cool ones in here. I know people frame wrapping paper. Um, that strawberry shortcake one is really, really cute. Actually, it's right here. Fun to do this with crafts three. I see you at 15. You have a Disney one in here. Still wrapped up. Um, really cool video game one. Yes, and the Transformers from 1984. It has the the old Target price tag on it. I didn't know Target was around like back in the day. We didn't have any around here. Heathcliff is super cute. Snoopy is super cute. So you're getting some cool ones. And then the stack of um, vintage paper. The really thin stuff, you've got some um, piece of that. This would be great to use in your junk journal. Some foil paper. And I know Brie crafts, so maybe you'll find some fun uses for this. All right, let's go ahead and start the countdown on the wrapping paper. Gino is here. You want to start the countdown? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Oh, I see Amy came in at 16 right at the end there. Thank you both for your bids. I do appreciate it. <clears throat> All right. So we have the vintage cards, the vintage wrapping paper. The other ephemera thing we have is this, um, what's wrong? Nothing. Oh, is this letter set here? This is a new, this is not old, but it, I thought it was really cute. It has this flamingo with a party hat on and it's a letter set. You do get 10 letter heads, 10 continuation sheets and 10 envelopes in this set. So it's a set of 10 for writing letters or using in your junk journals or scrapbook. And it has the adorable little flamingo at the top of the party hat. This is $6 for the set. Would make a great gift. You could use it to craft or you could just use it yourself if you wanted to add special little letters in your cards or whatever. It's got the beautiful gold detail and it looks like a pink um, at the bottom of the paper there. Inside of the envelope has the gold detail. Super cute set. Six dollars for the letter set, and it is still in the package. Still in the package, probably from like Home Goods or something like that. I just thought it was neat. Could be from like Target. Let me take this extra piece off so you can see the the flamingo a little bit better. Zoom in on him; he's so cute. Reminds me of Jeffrey, real nifty vintage something that he would write a letter on, right? All right, so we can set that aside. We can definitely come back to it if um, anybody's interested, okay? All right, G, what would you like to show? Oh, the other ephemera thing we have is a scrapbook. Sorry, we had someone ask for ephemera. Um, this scrapbook is a $50 start. This scrapbook is packed full of stuff. Yep, it's packed full of cards. It's full. These pages back here are loose. Um, I think I can hold up the individual pages. If the page is loose, I can hold it up. How are they attached to the page? Probably like paste, I would think. But each page is pretty full. And there's some really, really cute stuff in here. Lots of Christmas. 
Look at that Santa card right there. Um, but $50. Oh, look at the anniversary one. The thing I always liked about the scrapbooks is it's just somebody's memories. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, they thought these things were important enough to keep. These are flocked. The little duckies are flocked. So cute. There's a little ducky there. Or chicky. Got baby shower stuff, birthday stuff. It is a full book. Um, yeah, it is full all the way. All the way to the back. All cards. There's some postcards in here. Just trying to find the date on something. I'm guessing 40s, 50s on this one. And as you go back, um, some of the cards in the back are loose. You can see how they were applied, maybe with some paste. They probably will come out pretty easy. But if there's any interest, we can show it a little bit better. But it is $50 for the um, scrapbook. And there's some really, really cute stuff in here. And I'm not seeing a date on anything. Oh, isn't that cute? That last one for you? Mm-hmm. That reminds me of 1950s for sure. All right, so that's the other ephemera thing I had was the scrapbook. Uh, $50 on the scrapbook full of old cards. The scrapbook itself isn't bad. The binding and the no. string and stuff, it's just the pages. You could the replace the, um, you know, put them on uh, acid-free paper and then put them back in here if you wanted to. Might be a little fun project for someone to do because the scrapbook is in, in good condition and it's just tied together through those holes. Okay, Bob, your turn. Your turn. Five dollars for a lovely sugar bitches. Start the bid at five. Go ahead, Bob. I'll be right back. I gotta grab a band-aid real quick. No fun at all, I'm telling you. Um so many of you may have seen her her live Hey, Jeannie, long time no talk. Uh, may have seen her live reveal over the weekend with all the salt and pepper shakers. Um, I don't know if anybody's interested in any of those. The Christmas ones are not in here, but everything else we have cleaned up, sorted, and priced. Um, so I guess let me know if anybody has any interest in salt and pepper shakers. I can go ahead and show them. I hate to show you all a bunch of salt and pepper shakers that Nobody has an interest in them. <laughs> um, let's see. What do we got here? All right. We have Crayola Crayons with book of crayon projects. 72 crayons and sharpener. There is no book in here, and of course, some of the crayons are missing, but there's an awful lot here. Only a few empty slots. This has a $15 start. We're guesstimating it's from the 60s. We're not 100% sure. Um, the box leads me to believe it's probably from the 60s, but what do I know? Crayons, Crayola, Benny and Smith, Benny, B-I-N-N-E-Y and Smith Incorporated, New York, made in USA. Maybe that's a giveaway about the age of the crayons, I'm not sure. Uh, but really cool. We find these things every once in a blue moon and usually pick them up because we figure somebody would have an interest in them. That is a $15 start if anybody wants the uh, Crayola crayons. I said the book of crayon projects is not in there. Um, but the box is a little rough, but the crayons are in there. And 
frankly, if all you're looking for is the front of the box, then they're in good shape. This piece is missing here. this information here. And the bottom of the box is just a plain box. Of course it has some obvious wear and marks on it. So that's it for that. If anybody has an interest, please let us know. Set this aside for now. Whoa! I'm making a mess. Um, I'm not seeing anybody jumping up and down saying, hey, salt and pepper shakers. So I will show one of them. Out of all the salt and pepper shakers we would currently have for sale, I believe this is the most expensive one. I was telling them about that, how it's so weird that... Anyhow, of course, this is all plastic, but these go for forty-five to sixty-five dollars online. No, I sold. I sent you the sold comps that they sold for over a hundred bucks. Oh, these? Yeah. Where would you want to start this one at? I don't think anybody's like. I don't know what that what the crazy interest is. It looks like it's leaning. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with it. So they are salt and pepper shakers. Oh, the plastic's <laughs> bent a little bit, I see. So it screws in. The top comes off so you can fill them. It's like you almost have to heat it up to straighten it back out. It does have a bend in it. So what would you price that at? This is Hong Kong. Well, I would just, I don't know if anybody's interested in this set. I would say if you're interested, let us know. And we can show that one um, because I don't know why they sell for so much. That's weird. I would just set them down in there rather than on That's the... That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Because it's pulling on it. Here you go. They are plastic. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. we. I looked earlier then. She looked at sold comps. It's like, really? Yes, showed, they are plastic. He showed the crayon box already? Yeah. Yep, Jerry, they are plastic. They're pretty cool. I, I couldn't believe the sold comps on eBay for these crazy things. We don't have any other history on it. It said made in Hong Kong. So if anybody's interested, contact the Sugar Bridges here and we'll, we can yeah, talk. We can go through some of the salt and peppers today. Um, we do have one uranium item. And there is a little tiny chippy chip on it, and it is right here on the ruffle edge. Can you see it right there? There's a chip right there. It's not very noticeable. Um, it does glow really, really nicely. Are you, am I annoying you already today? Here, take it. Well, I'm just trying to light it up. Well, I was, here, hold that and I'll turn the light off for a second and then you can get the full effect. Just, okay. Ooh. You got it? Yeah, I think so. What are you starting this guy at? Let's start it at $12. If it didn't have that little chip in it, you'd never see it. It'd be going in my collection. So $12 start. On the uranium bowl. It is about five and a half inches across diameter and about an inch and a half tall. Oh, see if the strawberries glow, she said. What? <laughs> strawberries don't glow. All right. So $12 start on the uranium bowl here. 
it's the hobnail um, with the uh, what is that called? Not iridescence, but uh, like that milk gloss edge on it. I forget what the name is for that. No, nope, no glow on the strawberries. <laughs> So, we had somebody asking for it. See, I think Jerry knows. She probably went, what is the story with these strawberries, Jerry? Do you know why they sell for so much? Isn't that crazy? She probably went and looked and went, holy cow. Yeah, we can do the strawberries next if that's something you're interested in. It's the weirdest thing. I'm like, what? Yeah, we looked through. I spent hours yesterday going through all these. And it's like, eh, you know. There's a little minimal amount of value in some of them. Um, but these were crazy. All right. Any interest on the uranium dish? I know somebody asked yeah, for the uranium who was glass. That? It looks like the lady that's spitting on the strawberries. We can set this aside and come back to it, okay? Hmm. Okay, why don't you get the strawberries I give out? I up a piece of uranium glass and no, nobody wants it. He he has one more piece sitting upstairs, but I don't know if I want to ship that. Yeah. It's a big tidbit tray. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my collection. I'll put the chip towards the back. You don't have room for any more in your I'll collection. Get rid of some of your stuff, but I'll have room. I don't have anything in that cabinet, but thank you. All right. What kind of offer are you going to present on the strawberries. Now, there does have one issue, but I think you could probably fix that. Um, the stand from storage leans a little bit to the back, but I think if you... But I like, don't know if it's supposed to lean or not. Oh. I can't, I can't tell. It looks like there's a crack here on the bottom. See it? No. Right in the bottom of this little stem here. Don't rip it apart. I don't know. So that is the sand. These are the strawberries here. You want to hold one? I'll hold one. The strawberries are about a little over two inches tall. And the stand is about five inches tall. So where do we want to start these? I've seen them sell for over a hundred and some dollars. Um, I sent you the thing. What? Hold on a second. Let me bring up the picture. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Give me a second. I just want to be sure I have the right ones here. So June 30th, a pair sold for $102.50. And that sold comp. And then I've seen them for 42 and 80, 89. These are sold comps on that strawberry set. It's the weirdest thing. So ours has the condition issue with the stand. Gina, where do you want to start these at? 20. Okay. Let's start it out at 20. They're plastic. Yeah, well, they're plastic. And so you unscrew this. I don't think that's glass. That's plastic. Yeah, that is plastic. Yep, that's plastic. Um, so we're at $20 start on this. See the lids? Just screw on top after you refill it, obviously. Oh, the eBay ones. Oh, I don't know. I thought they were the same. I don't know. The eBay ones you showed. Right. That's what she just said. Oh, if they're glass or plastic. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think they're all the same, to be honest with you. Did you want to start? Did you want these um, for a $20 start? Where would you want to pass on these? It just says made in Japan. Yeah, um, they're the Japan ones. 
That one says glass, but the other one doesn't. Well, that's a total reproduction or something. These are... Yeah, see, this one that says glass has a different stem on it. Mm-hmm. The one that says not a stem like that. Breeze in at 20. They're just very unusual, as most of the um, salt and peppers in her collection. Well, if you think it's different, we could, let's put it down at $10, okay? Brie, $10 on these, okay? Quit giving me weird looks. If they're different than the ones there, we want to be sure we're selling them fairly, okay? So Brie, $10, not the 20, okay? I'm a fair person. And Gino, on the other hand, look at him. Oh. Can you fix that camera, hon? I got to do laundry. Okay. Fix what camera? You got it? What, you, what do you want me to fix? It's okay. I got it. All right. So Bree's in at 10. Jerry's in at 11. She said, now I'm interested. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and start the countdown here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Okay, so I am seeing Brie at 15. Brie at 15 on those. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. I have more salt and pepper shakers. We can go behind here and show some fun items as well, okay? Uh, we do have a bunch of these little Hong Kong animals, vintage flocked animals. I have a set of um, flocked raccoons. These do have the sticker. It's the old SC sticker. You're going to get the pair of them for $8, an $8 start on the flocked raccoons. These are kind of similar to the banks. Hi, Pamela. This one stands just over four inches. And this one is sitting down. These are marked SC. SC with a little turtle on it. They're vintage flocked animals. We have a bunch of them today. Uh, but these are the raccoons here. $8 for the set. Really cute display. You can use these for your um, assemblages. They're really fun to use in your assemblages put a little witchy hat on them or decorate them for, for Christmas. Um, very cute to do that with. So the raccoons are $8 for the pair. All right, Bubby, you read you another salt and pepper? Okay, he's gonna grab one out of the box here, sight unseen, and we'll see what you think. Yes, Joseph Originals. I think I might have a Joseph back here. Um, there's some interesting ones. Some of them have a lot of wear on them, but. <laughs> okay. No. These are glass. These are um, 40s or 50s? 1940s or 50s? Well, what I was able to gather, they made these for a while. Um, 
the later ones were a little different green and they had an S or a P and stamped in them or cast in them or formed in them and then later it said salt and pepper right in the glass but you, these are these have bubbles in the glass yeah i think these are really old ones these i'm not sure have air like, bubbles i looked yeah. it up online it seems like there's a, a number of iterations of it what's the start on this bub these are 1940s 1950s um, light bulb salt and pepper glass with the bubbles. Ten dollars start on these. Yeah, these are definitely glass. Mm -hmm. They have the brass top on them that unscrews. The light bulbs. There's something stuck on it. Okay. Any interest on the the green light bulbs here from the forties or fifties? Yeah, I'm trying to be, I think, reasonable with the starting prices. Um, if you don't think that's a good place to start, you're welcome to give a suggestion. Just um, mark down the bottom. Basically, I went to the bottom end of everything I researched. I went to the very bottom end. They are marked made in Japan. Most of the salt and pepper shakers we're going to show you are all marked made in Japan. They're glass with um, bubbles in there, in the in the glass. They don't glow. And it's a $10 start. Doesn't look like there's any interest. So if anybody wants to make an offer on these, feel free to do so. Um, you go to live chat. Oh, I'll put it up there and let it move. <laughs> All right, we're going to set those aside. What's next, Bubba? Oh. <laughs> you like glass and porcelain, right? So this one is for all the foot lovers out there. <laughs> Barefoot salt and pepper. They are marked Japan on no. the bottom. What's it saying about them? Japan. Oh, okay. I thought it said Taiwan. No. Okay. Made in Japan. Um, I like to do a, a $5 start on these. You got the red toenail polish. It looks like Gino's foot right there. I think Patty said she looked, thought that looked like her husband's foot, as I recall. Japan. Looks like Fred Flintstone's foot. <laughs> Minus the red nail polish. I see Jerry in at five. They're really, really unusual. Look at the toes. All right, let's start the countdown on these footsies. Sometimes. <laughs> Patty's in at six. That's a long story. Somebody talked me into getting a pedicure one time out in California. And the lady said, you, you go pick a color. And so he thought he had to pick one to put on his toes, so he picked clear. I thought, well, clear, at least you won't see it, but man, I had shiny toenails for months after. I said, after you that. don't have to have a color or anything yeah, put on your well, toes. I was under pressure at the time. So he had shiny toes for a while. I had shiny toes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's- They were let's, pretty though. <laughs> let's start the countdown. All right, Patty's at six. We're gonna start at 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop.
Patty, those are coming your way for six dollars. That's only three dollars a foot. That's a pretty good deal. Three dollars for five toes. That's less than a dollar a toe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gino's the salt and pepper guy today. Yeah, you don't need any pictures, Bree. Oh, this is the one I couldn't find any information on. I think they're chalkware. Oh, okay. I could find nothing on that. That kielbasa. You want to sell those now or later? That's fine. All right, one set of Christmas salt and pepper shakers did sneak their way in. I think you should do that. That's just the numbers I found. Okay. These are made in Taiwan. ROC, which is Republic of China, so I'm not sure when these were made exactly. The other one. You can hold that one up. Little Christmas mice here. Five dollars start. They do both have their stickers. Hi Rose. And they both have uh, corks. Um yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not all these have corks, so we'll try to. We're doing good, Rose. We're in salt and pepper shaker land here for a minute. Their holes are on the back. He's got one right here, and this one has two right here. And these are like ceramic. Yeah. $5 start on the Christmas mice. Super cute little faces on them. For those of you that saw the the haul video there were, were a bunch of christmas items in there um and we're going to have a have to have another halloween sale and another christmas sale between now and those times when they roll in so yeah all right we we'll, also, we'll pass on those for now wait. got it yeah yeah those numbers are just i know all right, let's try something behind me while you look for your next pair, okay? Oh, I see the next one. It's, it's weird. All right, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Okay. I have a really cool metal sifter back here. This is an antique Acme sifter. $8 start. It is marked Acme on the front there. And it's very unique because look at how it sifts. It sends this around. Yeah, usually you know it goes back and forth. It's like a spherical design. So there's three, that screen is, is like a sphere on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And this has three choppers, Oops. beaters, sifters, whatever you want to call them. And as you turn it around, it sifts it. Really nice wood handle. Acme. Acme. Has a little bit of crimping here in the lip. You know, something the coyote used to try to get the Roadrunner. Yeah. $8 start on the uh, old Acme sifter. I like to use these to, for my assemblages. I'll do Christmas stuff in it coming out. Sits up really nice on your counter. You could put a bottle brush tree in here, decorate it up. It makes a great a bottom for your tree or if you have a vintage crystal vintage kitchen and you're looking for items mm-hmm yeah oh that's cool all right so if there's no interest in the sifter i will set that aside Okay, Bob, you're up. This next salt and pepper shaker has kind of an unusual story behind it. Rose mm -hmm. wants it. What is she saying? I don't know. 
Rose, if you're interested in the sifter, just type in eight in the chat. That was the start on it. And we can count it down for you, okay? I know everyone does their sales a little bit different um, in here. Okay, gotcha. Eight dollars for Rose. So we're gonna count this down for you. Go ahead, G. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. You're good, Patty. <laughs> You're fine. We're pretty chill here. All right, Rose, that sifter's coming your way. Thank you very much. And if anybody came in that missed the beginning, if you want to go back and if there's something you saw that didn't sell, I think we have some ephemera pieces, some crayons, um, some little animals. We can always bring those back if you want to take a look at them. Okay? You got it, Rose. You're good. All right. Oh, those? I thought you were keeping this, those. This? Yeah. No. Oh. So this next one, the salt and pepper shaker, it's plastic. It's from the 1939 World's Fair in New York. Um, and it says New York World's Fair on the base of it. Thank you, Bree. These sell online anywhere from $10 to $200. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why. I, I don't have a clue. I really don't. How there could be that wide of a, a range, I don't know. Well, people can ask whatever they yeah. want for an item. That doesn't mean you're going to get it. So... This is it. Yeah, I'll try to show you. I don't know if you can see the where it says New York World's Fair printed in around the, the ball. Um, this one shakes out from this side. And this one shakes out from right here. Yeah. And they fill from the bottom. You just open those little doors and fill it from the bottom. So start on this is ten dollars. Yeah, I mean, I think that's reasonable considering how we saw these things all over the freaking map. Um, it is, if you collect World's Fair it's stuff, it's unique. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. It's just under four inches tall. And if someone ticks you off it, you have that on your holiday table, you could stab them because that thing is sharp. <laughs> and it does say New York's World Fair right around here. Mm -hmm. I um, see Jean... Genie in at 10. It's definitely different. I had no idea what it was until I started. When I read it, I'm like, what? And I looked it up. It definitely says 1939. You love orange things? <laughs> uh. I like the, the contrast with the blue and the orange. It looks nice together for sure. All right. We'll get your bids in if you're interested. Let's go ahead and start the countdown. Looks like it's been sitting in somebody's cabinet for 80 years mm -hmm. or in their drawer or whatever. Very neat, though. Yeah. It's going to be 84, 85 years old. It doesn't look like it's that old, but it is. I know. And it's sharp. <laughs> yeah. Watch. No! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and stop thank you patty mm. you're okay go get your puppies we well, probably not getting them quite yet if you're putting a deposit down you you have to uh wait till they're a little bit older i'm guessing who's getting puppies she's getting two puppies she who patty where do you see two puppies at i think she said lab puppies i don't see it anywhere up here. she said it earlier that she's oh. gonna have to step away Where's the bag for this? Thank you. All right. Chicago lady, these are coming your way. Yeah, I'm glad you're back, Jeannie. You disappeared for a while and I wasn't sure where you were at. Yeah, I need to check on Yvonne. I need to email her, make sure everything's okay. Because we haven't seen her for a while. And I still have her box over there. Yeah. I got to do that after the sale. Remind me. Check on her. Make sure everything's good. <gasps> okay. Free. Not a problem. Going to the chiropractor. That sounds like fun. 
Actually, that's, it feels good at the chiropractor. I got that. You. Sounds like code for I'm going to start margaritas early today. <laughs> All right, Patty, no worries. We got it. Okay. You want to do right. the next set of yeah, salt and peppers? Let's do one more. And, and again, these were kind of all over the place. It's Millie and Willie. Um, Millie and Willie. You want that? Gold in Dye Works State in Ohio. $5 start on these. Oh, F and F mold in Dye Works State in Ohio. And they are the Millie and the Willie. Millie Willie Penguins. Super Hi. duper cute. I'm Willie. I'm Millie. I keep Willie in line. They do have corks. <laughs> Bree said really early margaritas here. Remember the three hours behind us. That's okay. There's never a bad time to start margaritas. <laughs> What's that guy? Uh, cheeseburger in Paradise. What's mm -hmm. his name? Jim, uh, Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. This is Jimmy Buffett's cousin right here. That's right. They're a little over three inches tall. You will find a lot of them on the internet. And they're they're priced from uh, $6 to $34 on the internet. And uh, do, 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 we're asking do, do, do. five for this set. It's in pretty good shape. A little I'm, paint loss on the beaks, but you could yeah, touch that up if you wanted to. I believe they're pretty old. Good condition. And, yeah, they do have their corks, so they are indeed usable. Yeah, super duper cute set. If you collect salt and peppers, you may already have this set. I know I have a set in my collection. It's a must have. I see Patty in at five. See Jeannie in at six. Millie and Willie. Patty's in at seven. Yeah, we see this stuff every once. You don't see a whole lot of it at the antique stores or malls or anything we go to, but every once in a while, you see it, you know what it is. You she's know clutching her Millie necklace, clutching her pearls. Yeah, she's clutching her pearls going, I told him I wanted a better set. He didn't get me one. <laughs> All right. Uh, see. Patty's in at nine. Let's go ahead and start the countdowns. Get your bids in, folks. Bids with Patty at nine. All right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop. All righty. Thank you both for your bids. This is coming to Patty for $9. Why don't you gotcha. do something for the back and I'll pick another one of these out. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, without knocking anything over. I have a really cool advertising piece here. This is an egg separator um, from an old poultry farm, Sel Sylvandale Poultry Farm, famous for oven dressing. Good eggs to know. And it's pretty old does have a little um, hole here where you can hang it up in your kitchen um, but it's a very light plastic good eggs to know you put you crack your egg on there it separates the yolk from the um, clear part of the egg the egg white and it's got the advertising piece this is an eight dollar start um, the plastic egg separator I'm guessing this is probably around the 50s maybe even the 40s on this this is an item that I just picked up at an estate sale this weekend. The lady was an uh, antique dealer. She um, has a house full. I would guess she's probably in her 80s. And I stopped with my friend at her sale. Her house is full. Full to the brim. And her prices were super high. Um, so she is going to be stuck with a lot of stuff unless she marks stuff down a bit. Um, but let me put this up. <clears throat> what do we have on an $8 start? Mm -hmm. 
$8 start on the egg separator here. It is a thin plastic and it's got the advertising. So it's a two for one. It's a vintage kitchen item, but it's also an advertising piece. It has a nice hole there where you can hang it up. Um, these can go for pretty good money. I've marked mine lower than most of them. I mean, some of them 40 bucks on these online, yeah. uh, but it just depends on the advertising for sure on there. This one's got a really neat picture of a turkey and a chicken or a rooster. All right, so if we're gonna pass on that, I will set that aside. No. We can come back to no. it. Oh, well, you can say something besides that. If you see You're something, say something. Mm -hmm. I've been told I'm in a hurry, but I don't think it's this me. This is the side view here. Patty's in at eight. All right, folks, get your bids in on the egg separator. The wonderful uh, advertising piece. It was. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Are you trying to? I was. Rush. I think I have to um do it up here to put it on the screen, but I'll try that sometime. To make what? To moderate. highlight it on the screen. To make it more official. All right, Patty, that's coming your way. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, Gigi, you're up. All right. Anybody here like little onions? No. Orient's favorite onions. Ugh, I hate onions. So this salt and pepper shaker. Oh, set before I show you. It's about two inches tall. Yeah, they're about two inches in diameter. They're little onions. They are ceramic. They are not marked as if they're made in Japan or whatever it doesn't say. They both have corks in the bottom, but this one, as you can see, is pushed almost all the way through. So you might have to put a little screw or something in that to pull it out if you're going to use it. And one has two holes and the one has one hole. Um, I'm thinking five dollars start on these. That's well below what he looked yeah. up. We're pricing them low to sell them. Yep. <laughs> I believe so, these are Japan too. All of them in her set are most of them are marked yeah, Japan. Yeah, not all of them were. I was able. To, I was able to find them, but they weren't necessarily giving me a whole lot of information on it. Yeah. So five dollars for a start on the the onions. They're really nice. Fired, nice color, great shape. One has a good cork and one has an E cork. So you have to work on that if you buy them. All right, I see Patty in at five. All right, Patty's in at five. Those are from the Roosters on Monday. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. All right, get your bids in. We're at $5 on the onion salt and pepper shaker. Lori Ann's really going to miss us because onions is one of her favorite things. Could be onions or even garlic. I think it's onions, though. Uh, yeah, maybe it is garlic. Whatever it is, it's not an apple or an orange. We know that. <laughs> All right, let's start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and stop. Awesome. All right, Patty, you are. Shallots. There you go. Could oh, well be. maybe. They look too big to be shallots, though. Aren't shallots? I don't know my like, onions very well. Aren't shallots like that big around? I don't eat onions, I unless it's a funion. It's something in the onion family or thereabouts. All right, Patty, those are coming your way. Thank you very much. It's like um, it's like kryptonite to her. I can do short know, onion, she runs the other way. I don't, and that's how it is with mayonnaise, too. No, thank you. 
I don't mind the flavor of onions, like onion powder, but the texture of them, I'm a texture person. I don't like biting into like an onion. I, if I bite into one, I will not eat the rest of the food, right? Yes. I'll give it to him or I won't eat it if there's an onion in there. So we have anybody here from Texas? I'm just weird like that. We have, I think they're really nice. They are ceramic salt and pepper shaker. It's a souvenir from Texas. I don't know where it was, where they were made. They do have some age to them though. Yeah, and they both have their stoppers. They have like this gold pattern on the top on yep. both of them. Let's see that. And then yes, they have the Texas. Um, it's got- and They and both have the same amount of holes in the top. So I don't know if they mm -hmm. just, uh, there's a pair of them. $3 start on these. $3 start. They are ceramic. All right, it looks like there's like a overlay or something on the outside of it. I wouldn't say it's painted on there. Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. You can tell on this one, though, what this feels like. Yeah, like it's hand painted. Or somebody laid something on it. I don't think that was hand painted. Oh, like a transferware yeah. type thing? Yeah. On top of the... Because you can see how shiny it is here. Mm-hmm. So there's a pair of them, three dollars. I know we have Texas. some. We have some Vegas ones. We have yeah, um, we have others too that are old too. They're marked Japan. Yep. Um, and they're slot machines. So all of these are really old. These are all vintage that we're showing you. The lady that I got these from had passed away, and this was her family had um, come in, and all of these were bundled up. Um, so I bought them sight unseen all of them and so, there were some really cool ones but they're all old three dollars for the shakers from texas, texas. Mm -hmm. if you know anyone in texas these would be a fun gift or for your collection as well it'd be fun to collect one from every state i don't have room to do that but you could <laughs> three dollars on those um the salt and peppers that don't sell Maybe we will do a mystery pull option with them, or I'll try and do something fun with them. We can always come back to them if you want to see those again. Up next, we have a really cool print here. It's of a boxer. It's a $4 start. It is matted. Um, boxer print. It's a $4 start. Actually, it might be easier to put it down here. Yeah. Oh, $4 yeah. start. I got this one, but you can do the next one if you want. You just put box or print $4 start. Okay. Mm -hmm. This um, print, where's the ruler? Could I grab that one? Now, this is about 12 inches by 10 inches by 10 with That's the, the mat with the mat really cool um i picked this up at an estate sale the lady had a collection of dog stuff this does have an artist signature on it Ratoka, i think it says right here it almost has a watercolor look to it it's gorgeous. It's not coming across on the screen as cool as it really is. And it's wrapped in plastic. This is ready to go right into a frame. Really, really cool piece. Um, neat for a den or an office um, or anywhere, really. You could use this in junk journaling if you wanted to take the mat off and reuse the mat. $4 start on this. And it's a really cool boxer, watercolor style print. Okay, set that aside. Okay, and he's getting set up for the next item. This is, this eludes me. So, I found this on eBay, and this specific one with this specific, the coloring, yes, um, not one with a whole white, 
white from the waist down. Most of them are white with uh, some decoration or printing or whatever on it um, in this area here. This one does, is plain, but um, this is Norcrest. Good. Mm -hmm. Made in Japan. It does have the stoppers in it. This is, like, is that pepper or salt? There's two holes in this Okay, one. that's salt. This is pepper. And they sit together when they are sitting. Somebody took my ruler. They are, how tall are they? Just about, about four, four inches. inches tall. Four inches tall. What's the start on this, Bob? Did you type it in there or no? No. I don't know what you think we should start it at. Well, sold comps on this. Are these sold comps or list comps? I couldn't find the those are list list comps. Okay, list comps twenty to a hundred dollars. We're gonna start this guy at ten dollars. He is marked nor crust. Two pieces. You have the old man with the pipe and then his rocking chair in beautiful condition. Still has the sticker on the bottom. Norcrust Japan. Yep. I don't think you're going to get a better deal on Norcrust anything. And he sits right in the rocking chair. He does rock. The chair does rock back and forth. Um, so he sits nicely in that, in the rocking chair, the old man with the green detail. Almost looks like he has a little lap blanket on right here, doesn't it? Yeah, and some of them have, uh, have some hand painted decoration and I know that whole thing is hand painted but they're, they're different all the same but slightly different versions of what's on his lap I guess mm -hmm. and the rocking chair is really nice detail that is where the pepper comes out is the chair they both have their stoppers really good condition and that old man in his rocking chair is ten dollars All right, we're gonna wrap him up. Can definitely come back though. If you, any interest in him, we can come back and show him again. Can you write 10 on there for me? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I think we have two huge boxes of these things, so. We do take offers on our stuff too. So if you see something, say something. You see something you like? A little price a little high we're pretty negotiable on stuff all right up next i have a cool this is another salt and pepper set here this is a japan set 12 dollars start this is what it looks like Ooh, it stacks up like this these are it's chickens salt pepper and sugar right yep salt pepper and sugar let me show you the top one this is going to be your salt where does it come out of it comes out right behind the chicken's head right there. They are marked Japan on the bottom. This one has its cork. Again, this is a $12 start. Just Japan rooster set. Okay, they're double-sided, cold painted. This is the top one. This is the middle one here. This is going to be your pepper. That's where it comes out. This one has its cork bottom as well, $12. This is the middle one. And then this is the bottom one. This is where you put your sugar. It does still have the spoon in there for the sugar as well. It does have a sticker on this side that says Wonderland Billings, Montana. Um, but if you didn't want that on there, I'm sure you could get it off. So the top one has the Japan sticker. Really good condition on this set here. $12 start. It is the uh, salt, pepper, and sugar. It's nice that it still has its spoon in there. Yeah, those are next to impossible to find. Somebody always breaks it. And how tall is it? That's measure. So about five inches tall. That's what it looks like stacked up. $12 will get you the whole stack of roosters or chickens, chicken or rooster, whichever you prefer. 
All right, I'm going to set these out of the way so I don't knock them over. Let's show some Hong Kong animals because we have a lot of them here. First one we have is this little Hong Kong monkey. Hong Kong monkey. And this is a $3 start. It is marked made in Hong Kong on the bottom. You can see his little sticker there. I know some of these can be George Good. Some of them can be Joseph. This one um, is just marked Hong Kong and it's $3, got his little plastic face. How cute would this be with a little Santa hat on it? Used in your little Santa or your Christmas uh, beignets. It's got the big eyes. He stands about three inches tall. Patty's in at three. Look at his little face. So I picked up a lot of these little furry um, flocked animals at Springfield last year, and I've just been holding on to them. Some of them are in pretty rough shape, but some of them are in really good shape, like this guy here. Um, he has most of his flocking. You will see it's a little light in areas on his arms, but that's for his age, that's really good. Some of them I have are missing big chunks and have stains on them. They're still really fun to display even with that missed flocking. So I'm gonna offer them here today. But let's start the countdown on this guy. Patty's in at three. G? Yes? Let's start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. All right, Patty, he is coming your way, the little fella. The little fella. Up next, we have a brown raccoon. Is that Hong Kong? Um, this one, the sticker's missing, but I'm guessing it is Hong Kong well, we as well. Most of these are, they're older. Um, this is a brown raccoon. He is a $3 start. You can see he is missing a little of his flocking there at the bottom. Otherwise, he's in really good condition. $3 start on these. And like I said, these are great to use in your vignettes. You could cover up the, the bits that are missing with other items. Put a little witch hat on him. Make him a little Halloween raccoon, scarecrow, Christmas. You could do Valentine's Day, hold, have him holding a little heart. Um, these little um, flocked animals are great to use because they're lightweight. You can glue them to your tin or your box or whatever, and then just embellish, embellish around him. Uh, these are getting harder and harder to find. You will find these at like the antique malls priced pretty high, but today we are closing out on them and listing them at bargain prices. So this raccoon here is a $3 start. It's the brown raccoon. And he did have a sticker at one time that is missing. I'm assuming he is Hong Kong as well. You can see in comparison to the first raccoons I showed, he's a little bit smaller, but just as adorable. Be cute to do them together like a little couple, like a little girl and a boy for Valentine's oh, Day. The one that you just brought up. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I showed these the, the gray set first. So if you're interested in that set, watch back. I believe I have the set of those gray ones for $8, I believe I had on them. I can't see the tag. But this one here is $3 start. And if there's no interest, we will set him aside. Okay, G. You want me to do another item? And don't forget, Gino has the pencil pull. It's um, 25 cents per pull. You can get four pencils for a dollar. And there's some vintage ones in here, some fun ones. So if anybody's interested in a pencil pull, you can type that in at any time and we'll pull pencils for you. We also have... Um, let me show you just in case you were not here on Monday. We have some vintage fun items. 
Let me put together a quick little stack. We have, besides the pencil pull, we have these vintage ashtrays. You want to hold those up? I get you Michigan colors. Vintage ashtrays, you get a set of four for $5. These are 10 ashtrays from what? Like the 60s, 70s, you think? Yeah. These are from like the 60s or 70s. These are new ashtrays. Yep. Um, you could use them for crafting. These would be really cool to hang on an aluminum Christmas tree. You do a little bit of artwork or something in the middle and hang these up. They would really play off I that. Somebody that bought a set of these on Monday, he had the aluminum tumblers that were these. Oh, colors, yeah. And they wanted to use them with For that. coasters. She was going to use them as coasters with her tumblers. Um, Gino said you could put, like, candy nuts in them at the holidays. Yeah, you could put little stuff in them. Yeah, so we do have some sets of these available. $5 for a set of four, and you're going to get one of each color. Excuse me. I think these would have been pretty much disposable back in the day. Yeah, Gino found these at the last estate sale we went to. He also found these cello picks here, and we have little bags of the cello picks available for $2. These are great to use in your craft projects. They look like little candy sticks. Um, this is what they look like. They're all different colors. And they're cello sticks. Hi, Gina. Hey, Gina. And $2 for a little uh, bag of these. We have those available as well. Where's the bags at? I didn't put them together yet. But you get about, in your bag, you get about this many. Let me show you. Boop. Are you done? No. You get about this many in your bag for $2. So it's a pretty good deal. I eyeball it. All right. So we have the ashtrays and the solo picks available. We also have our mystery jewelry bags, three, five, and $10 if there's any interest in those. And ephemera packs for $15. Those are all of our like fun. Yep. We have them all I the time. I just put mystery pencil pull. Mystery bag, ephemera pack, ephemera pack, ashtrays, and cello picks. Weird combination, right? I'm telling you. All right. This one I would do. It's in poor condition. it might have been it's not identified i think it would be a, a mix master um salt and pepper shaker you would take this guy off and you would have salt at one end pepper at the other and it just slides down on here and sits like your salt like your old school mixer sugar bridges said two dollars start on the mixer yeah if you could repaint it it would look really really cute on the the mixer handle well it's it was like chrome it's about four and a half inches tall about four and a half inches long it was uh this was this area here that's discolored and the handle would have been Supposedly look like a chrome plate. I don't know what they put on it back in the day, but you can see it's kind of faded over the years. The rest of it's plastic. It's in fine shape. So, I see Patty at two, Carrie Ann at three. Let's go ahead and, oh boy. What I would give. So let's start the countdown. I see Carrie Ann's outbid herself. <laughs> oh, 
Patty's at three. Okay, Carrie Ann's at five. My bad. Okay, the bid is at five with Carrie Ann. So let's start the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop. All right, I see Jerry at six. Carrie Ann, you just missed it, my friend. But thank you so much for your bids, okay? We have plenty more to show you. Yep. All right. We have a, um, another animal here. This is a goat. I'm guessing Hong Kong as well. He's in pretty good condition on his um, flocking. A little bit of discoloration on his back, but not too bad. He's a $6 start on the goat. Reminds me of the Billy Goat Gruff. He's got his little gruffy doohickey thing under his chin. I don't know. I always think of the noise they make, and it's like, ah, kind of funny. So the goat here, he's got his plastic horns. His sticker is missing, but I believe he's Hong Kong as well. And he is a $6 start on the, on the goat. He stands about six inches. And he's about, about six inches long too, just a little over. The flocked billy goat is like the billy goat gruff from the nursery rhyme. This is him. Put a little bell around his neck. He'd be really cute. Put a little doll riding him or something weird like that. Would be really, really cute. What's his start? Um, he's a six dollar start. So she, it's really cute. He's got the plastic eyes. I see Jerry in at six on the billy goat. Let's go ahead and start the countdown on him. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Jerry, he's coming your way for six dollars. Thank you. Okay, we have a little bag of little goobers here. Um, I call them the scrappy set. Four dollars on the set. You're going to get everything I show you. We have a little seal here. Now he does have some discoloration. This one is a George Good, I believe. Let me see. It says made in Hong Kong and it's got the big G on the bottom. So I think that's George Good. He does have some discoloration on his head there. Super duper cute little seal. Did you say George Thrill Good? Uh-huh. We have the little mouse. He's missing some of his flocking on his tushy. You could go through and take all the flocking off if you wanted to. It's this pretty gray color. He'd be really cute with a Christmas hat. Make him a little Christmas mouse. You get that one. You get another seal. This one's tan. And it has the G on the bottom as well. That one. A little kitty cat. It's um, a set of five, a $4 start. Little kitty cat. Five E. The 
looks like C and a little squirrel. So you're going to get this whole bag for a $4 start. It's not each, it's for the whole lot. I each would describe the quantity of the bag. Okay. Five little animals in here. I call it the scrappy set. Four dollar start. Hey, Zeus. Hi, Zeus. Okay. No interest in that. That's how I do it, okay. Okay, I forgot to make you a moderator. Okay. Up next, we have a birthday train candle holder. And it is from Hong Kong, and it is an $8 start. It is still in the box here. Really, really cute. Whoops, I'm holding it upside down. Couldn't see the little train cars. Birthday train candle holder. The box displays nicely. It's double-sided. This was originally $0.66. Cents. Yeah. It's Inflation. super cute. Inflation's killed everybody. Yeah. Super cute little train. Okay. It hooks together. It's got the little animals inside. And then your candles go on the top. So it is complete. Um the wheels. I see Jerry at eight on the train. The wheels on the first one, like the engine car, do roll. The other ones too? Am I, yeah, they kind of roll. Not that you would want to, but um, yeah, they have all their little animals inside the cars there. It's super duper cute. I see Jerry in at eight. I'm going to wheel this right back into the box and you can start the countdown on that 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 get your bids in for the train 3 Come on, 2 the train 1 and ride it na, 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 the choo choo train all right this adorable Birthday train candle holder is coming your way, Jerry. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. You want to do your salt and pepper? All right. Next we have um, a set of pot belly stoves, salt and pepper shakers. They are plastic. Um, the painting, everything, they're they are really in good shape. They both have their original corks in the bottom. They are plastic corks. They are about four inches tall. $5 start on these pot belly stoves. You can see I'm trying to, everything's backwards here for me. And then the bottom, they do say made in Hong Kong. They have the big plastic stoppers in the bottom for filling. If you're into pot belly stoves or Hong Kong stuff or just salt and pepper shaker, this would be a nice little addition. Yeah. $5 start on the pot belly stove, salt pepper shakers. They are super duper cute. They're plastic, right? Yeah. A lot of them I saw the, the gold 
Close and then the greatest of shape. These are seem to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, those look nice. Um, every one I saw was a little different, but I think they all came from the same mold. So, if there's no interest in the pot belly stoves, I guess we'll pass. Sorry, I can't type all that fast. You're doing fine. All right, up next. Up next, we have some more fuzzy friends. These are from Hong Kong Lion Cubs here. They are marked. Charles Products or Charles Products Hong Kong. They do have their sticker on the bottom from Hong Kong. Adorable little lion cubs. The lion cubs are a $5 start. Why is that still up there? You just touch it right there. That it changes. So um, Lion Cubs, $5, there it goes, $5 start, so it highlights it on the screen, see? That's what I was trying to do earlier. Lion Cubs, $5 start. These are in really good condition. And I actually, coming up, I have the little leopards that match them. So these would be really cute to display with the little leopard cubs that are coming up shortly. These are the lion cub ones. These are vintage Hong Kong flocked lion cubs with their stickers still on the bottom. $5 start. Is that it's upstairs, but if it doesn't go with it, it's fine. Um, I yeah. can't find anything it does go with. So. Well, I don't know. I see Patty in at five on the adorable little lion cubs here. I could see them with little party hats on. <laughs> I don't know why. The little party hats would be super cute on them. All right. We're going to start the countdown here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. All right, Patty, those are coming your way for $5. Thank you so much. Got that. I mean, it can go with this. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Then just sell it without. It's totally fine. Okay. If you don't think they go together. Well, these, that's the range they were in. Okay. No tree. Um, I would start these out at $7. All right. Next, we have a pair of Bulldog in a barrel made in Japan. Salt and pepper shakers. Hey, Patty. And it is going to be like you. <laughs> a seven dollar. They're about three inches tall. Start. Made in Japan. Welcome back, Patty. Thank you. And you can see the holes are bigger in one than the other. They both have five holes, but I'm guessing pepper. And salt. Hey, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? We going to a new <laughs> home or what? I don't know. I'm tired of sitting in a bag in the basement. And Anybody want to take us home? They're marked on the bottom. You said or no? Yep. Oh, they are marked Japan on the bottom. And they both have their corks. That's good. So they are ready to be filled and used. Yeah. Patty's in at seven. Uh oh. 
it's me buying stuff again. They're super duper cute. Yeah, they are. I gotta say. You hold one for you. Their little faces are really cute. What's up? <laughs> All right, let's start the countdown on the little bulldogs. The little bulldog salt and pepper shakers. You're so mean. What? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. All right, Patty, those are coming your way for seven doll hairs. All I can smell is kielbasa. It's coming out of your pores. No, it's not. Now that one has an issue. It has a crack in one of them, so it's a lower price. Yeah, so these next ones are a set of pigs, salt and pepper shakers. One has a stopper, one does not, and it's a huge stopper. Um, she's selling these for $3 because it looks like this one's been put back together. It does look like it has a crack going through. I, I don't know if it's it. been repaired or... Here. Yeah. I think it's been put back together. I don't know. And my guess is somebody shoved the cork in too hard at some point or dropped it because it's got a number of cracks. So these kind of look like, the I think it's Shawnee Pigs. I don't know. Their faces remind me of that cookie jar. These are the little piggies. The one I'm holding is fine. No cracks, no nothing. The one she is holding looks like you somebody. You see the hairline crack. Yeah. And it like goes over to the back. Over the shoulder and there's another crack on the front. It looks like somebody put that one back together. Maybe it got dropped. Uh, but it is just a $3 start, so. Patty's in at three. They do look like the Shawnee ones. I, I think that's the name of the little. You can barely feel that crack. So yeah, I think it's like a hairline crack in it, but it displays nicely still. Yeah, but it goes up all the way around. I know. What I'm saying is you can barely feel oh, it. Oh, yeah. Here. Well, if it was, if it was put, a good repair. Yep. And again, it's got, they have huge corks in the bottom. The one that was repaired has a cork in it. The one that's not repaired does not have a cork in it. So if you're going to use them as shakers, you'd have to find the corks. Otherwise, they'd just be a nice display piece. Yep, you can pass on it. We will set these aside for now. So if anybody's interested in the little piggies. Okay. We gotcha. Well, I'm glad I don't have any cracks in me. Jeez. Okay, we got another little Hong Kong animal here. He said, here. let me see the crack. Did you show the crack? Not sure if you can see it or not. It's on that side right there. Yeah, it's... It's right here. And then it goes to the back. It goes up around the collar. Thanks, Patty. <laughs> All right. I said crack, not quack. All right. Up next, we have a Hong Kong flocked bear. It is a $5 start. This is an old black bear. Patty, are you saying we're asking too much or you don't no, want it because of the No, too much crack? of a, a butt crack, she's saying. Too much of a crack, so she's going to pass she's on it. She's talking to my, my butt crack. Oh. She lost. If you're interested in them, Patty, just put an offer down there. This um, Hong Kong flocked bear is a $5 start. I'm going to hold that for a second. I'm going to turn this fan on and get warm. The bear stands 
about three inches tall. He's about five inches long. Patty's in at five. Who won the pigs? On the bear. You don't want the pigs? He's really, really cool. He doesn't have any butt crack issues. All right, let's start the countdown. Get your bids in on Mr. Bear. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Can't stop. Thank you, ma'am. It's coming your way. Okay, up next we have this really cool 1930s cleaner. This is H and H cleaner. It is still in the box here. Um, these are the different items that it cleans. If, you, if it zooms in. How much was it sold for? 19 cents it originally sold for. You can see the price there. Well, that's old. We're not sure exactly what year, but. Um, when I looked it up, this style box of 1930s. Okay. It's a $5 start on the H&H &H cleaner. It still has the cleaner inside. I haven't opened it to look. Um, yeah, it's in a um, paper inside. Can you take it out? I don't want to. If you want us to remove it, we can. But I think it's like flakes. It's almost like a little bar of soap in there. And this is the back of the box. It's got all the directions for use. This H&H &H cleaner is a $5 start. It's from the 1930s. It's a great advertising piece. Has the price there um, of 19 cents. The box measures about four and a half inches. Great little advertising piece here. It says H&H &H cleans in any washable material. If hot water does not affect colors, neither will H&H. &H. To make solution, dissolve one cake of H&H &H in eight quarts of boiling water. This solution is the proper strength for most cleaning purposes. Carpets and rugs, upholstery, tapestry, heavy fabrics, fine furniture, woodwork, oil painted walls, oil paintings, Woolens, blankets, sweaters, um, all of that for the H&H &H cleaner. This is H&H &H cleaner. If you like H&H &H cleaner and wish some friend to try it, send us her name and address, and we will send her a generous free sample. It's out of Des Moines, Iowa, since 1889. So really nice um, display piece here for your kitchen or your laundry room or whatever. Just a really cool box. I liked the graphic on it and it's in beautiful condition for the age. If there's no interest, we will um, set that aside. Okay, Bob, up to you. Go. All right. We have a, a set of uh, vintage Inesco out of Japan, praying hands. Salt and pepper shakers. Pepper, salt. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? They're about three, three and a half inches tall. Yes. You could use these for Halloween too if you separate them. Yeah, they're about three um, and a half inches tall. These would be really cool for Halloween as well. What's the start on this? Five dollars start, $5 on, the start hands on the praying hands. Five dollars start on the hands. What's the matter for you? What's the matter for you? What's the matter for you? Five dollars start. Praying hands. Inesco. Mm-hmm. And... 
They are marked Japan. The one is marked Japan. On the, well, they actually both are. You can barely make it out on the other one. They are marked Japan on the bottom. I don't know where the UNESCO part is, but everything online said it's UNESCO. <laughs> See, that's what you get for leaving. That's what you get. Came Butt back. crack and praying hands. This is this is what happens. You'll leave for two minutes. Why you leave us like that? What's the matter for you? What's the matter for you? I'm just grabbing some stuff from back here. Hey, we got a buyer. Miss Jerry likes. Jerry's in it. My oh. hand. I think these are cool because they're cool as praying hands, but you can also use them for Halloween if you separate them out. Somehow I see Jerry painting these in a specific manner and putting them on her dashboard. But that's just my humble opinion. We got Monster. So All right, let's start the countdown. Praying hands are at five dollars with Miss Jerry. Cookie, cookie, yeah, cookie. well, Gina, you gotta gotta stay on top of it, man. Okay, praying hands, five hours. Bid is with Jerry. I that. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, Jane. Hi, Jane. Looks like we are sold to Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Cookie monster, cookie monster. Thank you, Jerry. All right. They sold for, was it five? Yep. Okay. All right. Up next, we have cookie monster. Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Cookie Monster is a $4 start. Where's the string? He doesn't have one. That's not the same Cookie Monster. That's a different oh. one. We have a Cookie Monster that talks, but he... He's a little dirty. He's a little dirty, and... He's a dirty monster. He um sounds really weird. Oh, I think it's perfect. You ready? Okay. I 11 inches tall. I eat lots of cookies. This is not the one that talks. This is just the regular one. And he is $4. He's super duper cute. I did just get him this weekend. And I got him with a Snoopy. And I think I'm going to keep the Snoopy. I couldn't part with what both you of them. At? But he's so cute. All right. Jane's in at four. Oh, Jane. I like Jane. <laughs> All right. You can big hug. Ooh. I can't see straight. My eyes are kind of messed up. <laughs> Patty said at five. Can you tell which one's my good eye? <laughs> You're having trouble with it going to spam? Are you sure you're adding in the third E? Make sure that you add in three E's in sweet. Uh, we never get mad, Jamie. Also, if you have trouble with my email, um, I can put Gino's email in here for you too, okay? He's the one that... Yeah, if you send me something now, I can verify it while we're here and live. Oh, looks like I go home with Patty. Okay. She has cookies. This is um Gino's email. I just put it in there if you want to try his. But with my email, make sure you add three E's in sweet. Otherwise, I won't get it. Okay. So there's Gino's email right there if you want to try that. Let's, um, um, if it's after the show, you're going to have to send your email. I'm not sure where you're going with it. So, um, yeah. All right. Yeah, just send, um, try sending it to his email and he can check to see if he has you in our system already. If you've uh -oh. bought something before, okay? 
Jane wants the cookie monster. All right, let's start the countdown on cookie. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I go to my new mommy now. All right. I see Jane at 12. Yeah, not a problem, Jamie. And if there's an issue, you can always um, message Lorianne on Instagram. Yep, you can insta um, yeah. on Instagram, YouTube. Yeah, just try other ways of sending her a Facebook. message. And, I'm on Facebook, too. And, uh, Feel free to friend me on any of those. Yep, we can look Cheers. for it and we'll get it put together. All right. On Facebook, I'm Lori Ann Sugar Birches, I think. Um, all right, he, you doing another salt and pepper right now? Well. Okay, he's going to throw in another salt and pepper. This is going to be a $5 start. These guys are about four inches tall. Are they 70s, you said? I think they're 70s from what I can tell. About two inches at the widest part. Cookie monster. Moo and moo. Salt and pepper shakers. Really cool orange color. Definitely from the 70s. How do you fill them up? Their heads probably screw off. Or the bottom. It's their heads. Their heads unscrew. All right. Oh, that sounds nice. Is this All right. The pepper? Salt. Five dollars start. Salt oh, it's cutters. for the, the um, cookie monster was for her granddaughter. That's cute. I don't have any little ones to give cute stuff like that. Wait till I tell the dog what you said. Well just I'm not going to give them the cookie monster. They just want the cookies. They just want the cookies. Yeah. Yeah. Now, on the back of this one, it looks like there's a little bit of black paint or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah. no issues with these. These are really good. Somebody got a little good. crazy when they put it together. These look really nice. Yeah. Cute little cow faces there. Cows look like they've been out all night drinking. How many holes in your nose does your cow yeah, have? Yeah, you do it. I have three holes in my nose. And I have five. So this would be salt and that would be pepper. Or we could really mess our buddy up and switch the heads around. Let's see if we can, if they balance. They kind of look like buoys, fishing buoys on the bottom. That's what it reminds me of, a little fishing. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Bobbers. Mary's here. Hi, Mary. All right, salt and pepper cows, definitely from like the 1970s. $5 start. How are you doing? Wow, you have a two year old, a 12 year old, and a 20 year old. Holy moly. Dude, we've been out all night. That's fun because you have them like a teenager, and then you have like, like a young adult, and then you have a little baby. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, good luck to you. And we'll see you soon. Hopefully, we can do that sale together. Okay, Gina? Uh-oh. Yeah, Gina, good luck with that. Boop, boop, boop. All right. No interest in the No interest in the in cows. These. Oh, my gosh. I'll let you bag those up. They're really me. disappointed. <laughs> up next, we have this cute little parrot uh, planter. It's a small planter. I'm guessing this is probably like a Japan type thing. It's a $4 start. It's a beautiful little parrot. Bye, Gina. 10 years apart. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Sounds good. This is a beautiful parrot. You can see the coloring on the back here. You can take the flowers out. They do come out. So if you wanted to use it, or toothpicks or something else. There is a little hole in the bottom there. You could use it for whatever you wanted to, but I'm gonna leave the flowers in there and then you can remove them if you'd like. Oops. Let's 
just got stuck on my band-aid. All right. So it's a beautiful parrot, little planter. No chips, no cracks. It's in beautiful condition. See the beautiful coloring on the back of the parrot? It's a parrot on a tree stump. You got that right. It's just hanging out. You could even put, you know what I wanted to start doing on these little tiny planters or even teacups is do my um, felting and do a felt ball in there and you could display your hat pins in it. Um, that would look really nice as well. Or make a little pin cushion out of it. So it's got a, a bunch of different options that you can do. It is only $4. Doesn't look like there's any interest, so we will set him aside and move on to the next item. This can go too. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, you guys like the mixer. I think you'll like this one. Oh, this one is one of my favorites. Okay, thank you, Jamie. This is going to be a $15 start. It this, is one of my favorite ones. This item is about four inches long, about three inches tall. It is a toaster, salt and pepper shaker. You lift them up, comes out the bottom. And bottom pops off. Yeah, bottom pops off. Same with the salt. This is made in USA. So we'll sit in there. You want to use them? You lift them up. It's really, really cute. It's got that hand painting on the front there. It's plastic. Um, very like mid-century looking to me. That pink plastic with the toast. Fifteen dollars start. It's in pretty good shape too. Yeah, it is. There's not like scratches and blemishes and stuff all over it, so I don't think it get used a whole lot. Most of most of these I don't think were used. I think she mostly displayed them. My guess. You can display it either way if you don't want the flower to show. You just turn it around. Um, but a really really cute display piece here, and I love that pink color on there. There's the bottom. Very unusual. Mm -hmm. So it displays nicely either way. And you can put the toast. If you want the pink in the front, you can switch around your toast as well. Very unique. Yeah. A lot of the things I'd looked through were unique. Some of them were very plain Jane, run of the mill, but this, like the, the mixer that sold earlier, which is kind of unique. Awesome. Right. Doesn't look like there's any interest in our toaster. Fine. Fine. You look through and find another good one, and I'll show something else in the meantime. Oh. Yeah, that right one's this one. that one's cute too. All right, we have another um, fuzzy critter here. It's a black panther, Hong Kong panther, four dollar start on the Hong Kong panther. Very mid centuries looking, right? The panther. He does have, um, almost look like jeweled eyes. They kind of look green to me, but I can't really tell. Or blue, right? You can see him there a little bit. Like a jeweled eye almost. The Black Panther is a $4 start. I believe he's Hong Kong. Flocked, sleek. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Patty. Patty's in at four on the Panther. But she didn't want my toaster, but she wants a Panther. <laughs> what the heck's up with that? I guess you could take a lint roller to get some of the fuzzies off of these. That might work pretty good. All right. Let's start the countdown. Get your bids in on a Panther. It's at four with Miss Patty. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, Patty, that is coming your way. Thank you. This next item is another one of uh, my favorites because it's salt, pepper, and sugar. It's about four and a half inches tall, and yeah, better part five, and about two to three, two and a half inches around. It is. An old ringer washer. Woohoo! It's an eight dollar start. And, and you can see this moves out of the way. Your sugar will be in here. And it is marked sugar on the top there. Yep. And if you put this down, <laughs> it shoots out the salt and pepper. Yeah. There's a sauce salt, salt shaker. If you move it up, then the bottom one pops out the pepper shaker salt and pepper yep it's you, very very cute you can just push them back in they kind of lock in place is it marked on the bottom hun? made in usa made in usa um i see carrie ann in at eight Super duper cute. And if you turn it a little bit, they might be able to see where it says sugar on the top. It does say sugar on the top. So you got salt, pepper, and sugar. Really cute. Let's go ahead and start that um, countdown on this. Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Tammy's here and Whoa, she's in at she nine. Is. Sorry. He gets distracted easily. You tell I had kielbasa for breakfast. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> All uh, right. Let's start that countdown, G. All right. We're at nine with Miss Tammy. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. It's in excellent condition, too. Oh, Carrie Ann, you came in just after. That's going to Tammy for $9. Thank you both so much for your bids. Are you having leg issues today, Carrie Ann? Thank you. I'm not sure if you are or not. We're all having lag issues. All right. Up next, I have this little figurine. It's a $2 start. It is marked on the bottom. C649 something. I'm assuming this is like a Japan piece. Um, it's a little tiny bird. The lady that I got these from, she, um, she had finches and she showed them like you would show at a dog show. She showed birds. And so she had a bunch of bird figurines. And so I picked up a few of them. And this adorable one is a $2 start. I don't know the maker. It looked like it had a sticker at one time, but the stickers then um, has, come in off, has come off there. Thank you, Patty, for putting that in. There's no chips or cracks. It kind of looks like an Oreo to me. What are your thoughts? Oreo? I would go with Oreo. Yeah. It does look like an Oreo. Mm -hmm. The thing with Oreos is they have black feet. So maybe it's painted a different color just to 
distinguish it from the base. Yeah. Two dollars start on this. It's in really good condition. Almost looks like it's airbrushed. Or like a watercolor um, Let's see wash Patty over at two. it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this would be left in. I know that they did some numbering on the bottom like this one, but it is old. All right, let's start the countdown, G. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. There it is. Patty, that's coming your way for $2. Thank you very much. I'm going to set this on the table so it doesn't get broke. Okay, next. Keeping in, uh, in the same theme with the salt and pepper shakers here of small appliances and large appliances. I have a pair, and it's not easy to see, but they're marked Westinghouse. One is marked laundromat, the other one is marked clothes dryer. Um, they are three inches tall, about two and a half inches wide, and two inches front to back. Washer dryer set, start of five dollars. Here they are. That said, if you, you kind of got to hold it in the light, but it says between these two buttons here up the top Westinghouse is imprinted in there and this one above the little window it says clothes dryer now, you know you can't see it here Carrie but Ann's I in can at see five. It here. and this one says laundromat yep. right above the window and they do have their corks Yeah, they have their corks. You touch that one. There they are. And you can see the top where it says salt and pepper. Yeah, it's a big Hi, set. Nancy. That's, that's kind of cool. Awesome. We're having some fun today. We're doing salt and peppers and fuzzy animals and just a bunch of crazy fun items <laughs> crazy right. be the keyword yeah let's go ahead and start the countdown g bids at five with miss carrie ann 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 oh my finger keeps hitting faces it's not supposed to what you hit i don't know i don't know what that face is but all right, Carrie Ann, thank you so much. Those are coming your way. <laughs> so that means you're looking for more, Nancy? All right, up next we have a little fun, like, I think it's like a toothpick holder, if I had to guess. It's made in Brazil. Um, it does have a little flea bite right here on the back, right on the edge. Not very noticeable. I didn't notice it when I was buying it. It's got its Brazil mark on the bottom. It is a $3 start. And it's Cupid sitting on the moon writing in his journal. Yeah, we, she has some really interesting salt and pepper, so um, you could be getting a great deal for sure. This is Cupid sitting on the moon writing in his little book. Jerry's in at three. And 
And again, there's that flea bite on the back side, right on the edge. I don't know if you can even see it. It's just a little flea bite there. Inside mm -hmm. looks great. And it has its porcelain Brazil stamp on the bottom. Say Joe Jose. Say Jose. I don't know what that means. But maybe that's, that's a, a city. Low, that's low a city location. in Brazil. Yeah. I'm not sure to pronounce it. Oh. Uh, yeah. I know. I think about stuff like that all the time. You know, if I would have held on to this, but you can't. You know, you just got to move on. All right. Let's start the countdown on Cupid here, G. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. And stop. You saw this side, right? Yes. Okay. All right. These are coming to Jerry for $3. Thank you very much. Or this is coming to Jerry, not these. I'm going to go set this on the table so it doesn't get broke. This next set of salt and pepper shakers are wooden. Um... I'm not sure what we're going to ask for them. $2. All right. They are outhouses. Two inch tall. Ma, pa. Shake them out the top. The one says Princeton, Indiana. They have their stoppers in the bottom. And I think somebody took a sticker or something off the back of them. There's a little residue on there. You could probably get that off. And what's the start going to be on these? What do you want it to be at? How about we start $4 on outhouses? Ma and Pa. I'm guessing there's a reason why they had their own separate outhouses. I see Jane in at four. Yeah, like an old decal. Yeah, I'm not sure. It looks like there was something stuck on there, like a sticker. Like a sticker. Mm -hmm. it, it may have had something to do with Princeton, Indiana on the back. All right, so Jane is in at four on the salt and pepper shakers. Let's go ahead and start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. Boy, we do have a lag. It's taking forever for it to pop up. There it is. Sold to Jane for $4. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank Jane. Thank you very much. I have two little giveaways here. If you have bid on an item and won an item, you are eligible for this giveaway. Okay? If you want. So if you have won an item today, I am giving away this little plastic bird. It is marked Hong Kong. It's a little plastic bird here, Hong Kong. Um, you are eligible if you if you um, bought an item, and I can add this to your order, okay? This includes Monday. If you bought an order on Monday, because I don't want to ship this one single item out by itself. So if you bought something Monday or today so far, go ahead and type in the first person that I see with the number will have this little birdie added to their order as a little giveaway. From me and then Gino has one here that he's gonna do as well. Type in the number. Yep. Number the first person to type in the number eleven. Number eleven, the first person I type in will win the little birdie. If you've bought something Monday or today, we will add this to your order. Boop, boop, boop. The right. first eleven I see is patty shaw patty this one is coming your way jerry you were right behind all right so patty you got our first giveaway here 
the made in Hong Kong little plastic acrylic. Nancy, it's your, an acrylic birdie. Nancy, your stuff is on hold. Unless we hear from you that you don't want it, um, we will hold it. Okay? I did not sell... Did you sell the penguins? Is she talking about the stuff in the box? Oh, the Millie and Willie? Oh, yeah, those are... Those sold. Those sold, yeah. I do have some little felted or fleece penguins coming up. I was just saying your stuff is... You're good to go with uh, the stuff that's on... We're holding it for you for whenever you're in. ready, okay? You just let us know. Oh, this is for putting those snow And if here. somebody ever runs into an issue where they've ordered something and then they have a hardship come up, like a funeral... Or something you can always let us know we don't mind holding your order for you okay yeah i mean it happens yep we're not mean-spirited we're pretty easy to get along yeah. with all right so patty that is your freebie that is coming your way a little acrylic birdie now gino you get to do your birdie as a free giveaway again if you bought something on monday or today you are eligible for this giveaway and there's Gino's. It is a Hong Kong acrylic bird. Number 58. First one, number 58. Well, you jumped right into that, didn't yep, you? Yeah, I sure did. Try to catch everybody off guard. Take me home. All right, I see Jane. Jane, you got the, the next freebie here, the acrylic birdie made in Hong Kong. Marked on the bottom, little acrylic, fun little bird. Um, that's coming your way. We might have some more giveaways today, too. So we'll see what we have available. Maybe we'll do a free pencil pull, stuff like that. Make it a little more fun. So yeah. this, this next item is plastic. It's made in Hong Kong. I think it's supposed to look like a TV. Um, it is a salt and pepper shaker. It's about three and a half inches long and about two and a half inches tall. And the start on this one. Um, let's do eight dollars because of the condition. Okay. We're gonna do the start of eight. Here it, it is. It is bluebird of happiness. Mm -hmm. Um, interestingly enough, there's a little snow in there rolling around. If you look at the bottom of this. There are three fill ports, one for salt, one for pepper, and then this little one here, I think you would open up and just put more snow or whatever you wanted rolling around in there. Or water? Well, you would put water in there. Yeah, it's like a snow globe, isn't it? No. Oh. And then on the top, you got salt, pepper. You slide it one way for one, one way for the other. And you said the sold comps on this one, or, or the list comps for eighteen fifty on yeah. this one? Yep. Yeah. Yep. This was kind of a, I mean, it's not high-end, but it's very unique. I don't think I only found one on the internet. So I think the, the price is pretty pretty reasonable at $8. And like I said, there's if you turn it over, you see a little bit of what looks like snow falling around <laughs> in there. So I'm sure you can pull that little. Nancy, did you, if you're interested, bid, and we'll put this with your stuff, okay? Yep. We're not opposed to... Uh, we can hold it for you. It's not a problem. Yeah. So this one's eight. Like I said, it has a fill port for the salt and the pepper. And then right over here, that little one pops out. And I think that's so you can add snowflakes or whatever you want when you shake it up floating around in there. Yeah, I would think that you put water in there to make it look like a snow globe. But I don't know. I guess you have I to check on it's... whatever that's... I don't, I don't think it's sealed, a sealed unit. Okay. It may be. I don't know. All right. So Nancy's in at eight. I just see. Uh, you can't see it. There's a little bit of what must have been snow in there at some point. Anyhow. All right. Let's start that countdown. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. 
I see Jerry in at nine. Oh, there's Nancy at 10. And that went to Nancy for $10. Thank you very much. Yeah, it almost looks like uh, like crystallite, crystal salt, you know, not super fine salt. I don't know. Anyhow, I have one an away. anthropomorphic set over there that I think they put salt in, and it, it has like the salt crystals, and it's like eating away at it. That's that spoon and the fork. So if anybody's interested in an anthropomorphic set um, with some salt crystals, then, you know, we we'll take a look at it. Um, have that available and we'll mark it, mark it a little lower because that's something that I don't know if you have to wash it. It's eaten through some of the paint, um, but it is an anthropomorphic spoon and fork. It's really, really cool. All right. So I have another fuzzy animal here from Hong Kong. This is a brown bear. This brown bear is a $4 start. $4 start on the brown bear from Hong Kong. They made the best stuff back in the day. Look, at you can even see his ribs. Rinse with baking soda water. Okay, because it's got the cold paint on it, I don't really want to submerge it, but if she said to rinse it with um, baking soda water, maybe that will like deactivate the salt. Okay, Bubba. We can definitely try that. This brown bear is really cool. You can see the detail on the back side of his ribs. So he's come out of hibernation. He's super hungry. He's ready for some berries and some salmon. <laughs> All right, Patty's in at four. Let's go ahead and start that countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. Okay, turkey baster, you can carefully rinse the inside while not having to soak it in water. That's a good idea, too. Patty, this little brown bear is coming your way. Thank you. On that set right there, Jean, I know the red paint is coming off when I was cleaning it, so it might need a little touch up, but it's a really cool. It's old. What you want with it? All right, so this next set. We have two similar, but that's a different style. Yeah, I really like this one. It reminds me of the Campbell Soup Kids. It's salty and peppy. It's a $3 start. $3 start on this set. Let me show you the first one here. This is salty. The little faces remind me of the Campbell Soup Kids. They do have some wear. Hi, my little Colorado cottage is here. Hi, Vicki. Hey. All right, that's salty. And then this is Peppy. Again, it has the little cute like Campbell Soup faces. It does have a lot of wear. Um, are they marked on the bottom? This is marked Japan, made in Japan on the bottom three dollar start i clean hundreds oh i bet you did huh when you have that many and you have to clean them up you definitely are um having some tips and tricks for sure three dollars start on salty peppy they look like they have little campbell soup faces i will tell you that there's a lot of wear on these so they might need a touch up um, but you could certainly do that if you wanted to all right, I'm starting to count down. I see Carrie in it. Carrie Ann in at three. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. And stop. Ooh. I did wipe these off pretty good, but they could use a good wipe down. You can clean them a little bit more um, when you get them, for sure. And that's going to Carrie Ann. Congratulations, Carrie Ann, and thank you. Is there a bag for these? Yep. Thank you. All right. Up next, we have a bluebird of happiness. I have somebody that requested this bug. 
this is a Leo Ward signed one from 1992, it looks like. It's got a sticker and it is marked Leo Ward. The sticker seems to be a little loose on there. I don't know if you want to add a, a, a spot of glue um, to it to keep it on there, but just in case, beautiful blue bird of happiness. No chips, no cracks. It's really, really nice. Um, this guy here is a $12 start on the Blue Bird of Happiness. No glow. No glow on him. Not that they do, but I know the red ones do. He's gorgeous. Tammy is in at 12. Oops, let me see if I can hold him properly. There we go. It's about two, two and a half inches tall. About four inches long. Three and a half, four inches long. Thank you for that, Patty. All right. So if you're interested in the bluebird of happiness, get your offer in now. There's a couple little bubbles in there. Yeah. It's really nice. He just does have that liquid, that liquid look. I know Michael always says that they have a way of doing their glass sometimes, and this this one really does have that liquid look to it. It's a gorgeous piece of glass um, and signed, so that makes it even better. All right. Well, Tammy's in at twelve. We're gonna start the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. And stop. All right, Tammy. My bluebird is coming your way. I'm going to go put this on the table, okay? Thank you, Tammy. I have... One more set of the Salty and Peppy Shakers. Um, it's a little different design, a little different shape. Um, I think it's in, it, it's missing a little paint, but I think it's in better shape than the first set. I'm not sure what Sugar Bitches wants to sell them at. Um, five. All right, here they are. Salty and Peppy. You can see she's Peppy's got an eye issue and Salty looks like he's he can still see, but it's a little fuzzy. Um, they are not marked on the bottom. Her tops do come off to fill. Salty and Peppy start of five dollars. Five dollars. Are these the kitty cat ones? Yep. Yeah, they are cute. They do have a little wear, but you can definitely touch those up with a little bit of acrylic paint. Salty and peppy. This one looks like it's winking because it doesn't have an eyeball. No mark on the bottom. I know Misty used to have a big collection of these. I'm sure she still has some of them, but. Some of them are super duper cute. These are the little kitty cat. It's whiskers. All right. It doesn't look like anybody's coming in on these, but we'll give it just another moment. There it goes. If there's no interest in these, we can set them aside and come back to them later if you'd like. Okay. Up next, we have some beautiful um, Verith, I think it's called Verithin. Verithin, it's Ardalt Lenweil Verithin Oriel from Japan. We have two different styles. We have the Ardalt Parakeet and the Ardalt 
Oreo. These are Japan made by Ardalt. Um, and I'm going to show you the Oreo first. Both are $8. They're beautiful condition. Beautiful. This is the Oreo. Hello? It's got the flowers on there. No chips, no cracks. Let me flip it over on the bottom. You can see. There's the number. Oh, I see you in at five. Okay, they, they said would, um, Let's count down. and stop. All right, my little Colorado cottage. Those shakers are coming your way for five dollars. Oh, you can sell salty. Yep. We got them here. All right. So back to the um, Japan beautiful um, figurines here. These are $8 and you're going to get choice. This is the Oreo. These are in beautiful condition. There's no chips, no cracks on them. These are made in Japan, and it's by an artist called Ardalt Lenweil. Verithin, I don't know if that's the material, um, but it's a Verithin. This is the next one. This is the parakeet, and it looks almost like a parrot. Let's see, it's marked on the bottom parakeet. Beautiful. They stand about four and a half inches tall, I would say. They display nicely together. I guess you could turn this one like this. I have never seen these before, um, but they're beautiful. They're very well made. You can feel the quality when you hold them. This is the Oreo. And then this is the parakeet. And it's $8 choice. Um, I will set these aside, but we can always come back to them if anybody is interested in those. I don't know where this came from. All right. Up next, we have a fun kitchen item. This is an And Rock made in USA. Core, I think it's like a handled core stainless steel it's a six dollar start you can see the mark right there and drop it's the beautiful apple green handle kitchen gadget here it's the apple green with the lovely yellow tip there very like 1940s look to it six dollar start on the core you like antique and vintage kitchen items this is a great item to add to your collection this piece is just under seven inches long if you like pyrex and that old kitchen stuff this is great to add in um, as a display piece up on your shelf in the kitchen it's great to use if you need a core. That is sharp um, on the end there. Hi, Helen. Hi, Helen. We want to make it 72.
What's that? She says she has 70 bird songbird figurines if you want to make it 72. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure where that came from. I'm wondering if I forgot to put it with something. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a dad joke, Jeannie. That is a dad joke. It has a lot of appeal. <laughs> All right. So the, the kitchen core, like an apple core, I'm guessing that's what it is, right? That's a core. And it also has a, um, like a peeler. It looks like it has a built-in peeler right here as well. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it looks like you would peel it with it too. Yeah, that's sharp. So it has the peeler and the core. So it's for apples, fruit. Um, I never knew that was there, had a built-in peeler there too. Well, maybe we should try it. Kind of a some. handy tool. Yeah, and it's really pretty. All right, if there's no interest, I will set that aside. Moving on. You so, got yours out ready? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do this one. I would do choice um, three. Or sell them both for? I just do choice for three. Okay. I have two sets of wooden Mexico souvenir salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to show one of each. One set. They're identical. Looks like this. Note the color pattern. And you I think you take the top off the film. Yes. It's not screwed on, it's just kind of pressed on there. And the other one is this color pattern. I'll show them up side by side. We're gonna start at three dollars. And it'll be choice which color you want, or you can have both sets. You have this one with the blue and green in the middle, this one with the green and the red in the middle. A little different carving, same idea. It's black and gold stripe here, this one just red on the bottom. I have two sets, they are otherwise identical. You're fine, Patty. And if there's any interest in these, these were, what did we say, $3? $3 start, and you can have one set or both sets for $3 each, if that's, a, if that's what the bid comes up to. Yeah, you could even do, if you want them both, two for five. $3 each choice or two for five on the set. Really Sorry, cute for your, your parties outside. Yeah, you don't have to worry about your shakers getting dropped and broken. Um, no. Really, really, really cute. They kind of almost, you could almost mix and match them too, if you wanted to, right? That don't look right. That's how they go. Mm -mm. How do you know? Have you ever been to Mexico? Anyhow, one set of each style and color. If there's any interest, if not, We'll, put them we'll in just the, put them all together for five dollars in one bag and make it super duper easy. You don't mark it. It's already marked right there. I'm not sure I like how you mark stuff. Well, I don't care. Five dollars for the set of four. If, it, if there's any interest. Okay. Really cool item. I thought about keeping these, but I'm not going to. These are about what four, 13 inches in diameter. 14. 14 inches in diameter. They are place, inch thick, basically. place mats, but you could use them as a work of art. And I thought they'd be really pretty hanging up on a wall. Um, let's see. They are $8 each. Pick these up in an estate sale recently. They're both the same, but they have this beautiful, let me go this way. And they have cork on the back. Yeah, they do have cork, but you can see all the different animals. 
could use these as a trivet. I don't know if I would put hot stuff on them, but you could use them, you know, as a trivet if you wanted to. They do have cork on the back. This is like a coated paper, maybe. There's two of them. They are both the same. So they have the cork back and then the beautiful detail on the front here. The lion, there's a rabbit, a little mouse in there. You can see all the detail, a bird, a goose. There's a donkey with another bird. There's like a chicken, a cat, a fox. So there's a lot going on in there. It would make a really cool just art piece on the wall. If you put a hanger on the back, you could definitely hang this up as an art piece. Use it on a table, on a side table. Um, you could put a lamp on it. You could use it as a place mat or a trivet if you wanted to. Is that stable? Oh, yeah. There's even a little bumblebee that I just spotted. Where did I see it? It is by, it's by the chicken. It's right here, a little bumblebee up in there. There's all kinds of stuff hidden in there all around the sun. Two available and it's $8 each for the beautiful placemats. All right. We you want your beautiful place bath? I love them. I think they are really cool. Oh, there's a snake in there too. And a frog. Really neat. Grapes. Okay, you're up next. Uh, I would go metal. three. Metal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, is anybody into milk jugs? I have a milk jug. Thank you, Patty. Salt and pepper shaker. They, I know they're not copper, but they have a copper appearance. Milk jug, salt and pepper, $3 start. And if you take this piece, pop it out. There's a shaker. Pop it back in when you're not using it. And it also comes with the man's matching shell. It is marked Japan, I believe. Yep. You would put this on your on your wall and these would sit on the shelf on your wall potentially if that's what you want. And yes, it is stamped Japan. And three dollars start. My milk jugs bring all the boys to the yard. Sing it. Do it. He sings this song. He does a really good job. Do it. Yeah, I do. Oh, no, you do her other lovely lady lumps. My humps. My humps. <laughs> do it, G. Sing it. I'm not singing my humps. Do it. My lovely lady humps. Um, he had bought a car, and the person that it was a young I girl. I still have the car in the garage, yeah, dear. Yeah, he has the car, but when he bought it, they didn't clear out the music in the car, and so when he went to work, it had Fergie, Black Eyed Peas, a uh, soundtrack in it, and so well, he would listen to it. You got to understand, I sat in a lot of traffic, so on the way home from work, I'd be on Highway 37 in North Bay, uh, California, sitting in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, two, three lanes wide, right at where Sonoma Raceway is. Uh, for its, anyhow, we'd be sitting there at this light, and I'm in a BMW, right? I'm an old guy. And I would just crank this thing up with the windows closed. The car would be rattling. And uh, people would be looking all over. I'm like, I don't know who's doing that. Was fun and he would time. sing the song. He knows the whole song. <laughs> all right. If there's oh. no interest in these, I will set them aside. And we will move on to the next item. We still have some really good items here. Lots of salt and pepper shakers left. Uh, yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> Gino singing. Fergie. All right. Up next, we have the second set of cubs here. These are marked. Charles. 
Charis Hong Kong. The same as the Lion Cub ones. They have that same Hong Kong sticker. These little leopard babies are a $5 start on the leopard cubs. Really cute. Adorable. They're in really good condition, too. Okay. Well, I, Patty's yeah, in at five. There we go. All right. Patty's in at five. Let's go ahead and start the countdown yeah. on the little leopards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, Patty, those are coming your way for five. We gotcha. That matches your other, your other set. Okay. We have a big camel here, and he does have some uh, missing flock on the one side. He's a $7 start. He is marked Hong Kong. It says Dan Bruckner and Company Incorporated, New York, Hong Kong. So this is the camel here. He's pretty good size. You can see he, he looks good from this side. When you turn him around, he's missing his flocking right there on this side. But if you display him like this, perfectly fine. You don't see any, any issue with him. This is a vintage flocked camel. Gorgeous. You can see his face, super duper cute. This is the sticker on the bottom. These flocked animals are becoming harder and harder to find. This would be really neat in a nativity scene. Um, he does have a little bit of flock missing right here on his like foot area. But other than that, he looks really, really good. Nice piece. Yes, I will do five. So Patty is in at five on the fella. Let's go ahead and start the countdown on our camel friend here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Our little camel friend is headed your way. Salt and pepper shakers. These are marked Japan. $5 start for these cuties here. These I bought separately. These did not come with the salt and pepper lot that I just bought. So these I bought at a different location. They are marked Japan on the bottom. And they have their stoppers. Really, really cute. Praying kids. $5 start. Great for Christmas or anytime, really. That's going to be the salt shaker right there. And then she is the pepper. She has the Japan mark. Um, the salt and pepper. Praying kids, five dollars for the pair. You get that out of my bag, or that your bag? No, this, these. Yeah. I I got these at a different place. I didn't oh. get these. Yeah, these came from a different, different place. They are really cute, though. You could display them like this; would be really cute. 
cute at Christmas time and you can see the little eyelashes on the little boy. Little faces. And again, they are made in Japan. Does it look like there's any interest if you want to do the next item or you want me to keep going? Oh, let me see what I can dig up here. Oh, these may be of interest. I don't know. Let the boss come up with a number for you all here. I have a set of rolling pin salt and pepper shakers. End to end on the handle, uh, about three and a half inches. They both still have their corks. I have no other information. Two dollars start on these. Oh, this chair really slides on this floor. Salt, pepper, I don't know if you can see the P on there. And they do have their flat on the back and they do have their corks. Two dollar start for the rolling pin salt and pepper wooden shakers. You got it. Not a problem, Rose. Tammy's in at two. And this one has oh P I G G O T T Arkansas. I'm not sure if that's Piga. Oh. So it was a souvenir. I don't know if you can make it out. Probably not in this way. All right, let's start the countdown on those yep. rolling pins. P-A-G-G-O-T-T, -T, Arkansas. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Shoulder doesn't want to. Huh? My shoulder doesn't feel happy with me folding stuff up like that. Oh. So I'm doing the best I can. All right. Tammy, I see you for two. Thank you, Tammy. We got you. Look how far behind this is. Oh, that, because you were on the phone, you got to exit out and come back in. Right. Mm hmm. All right, up next we have some more salt and pepper shakers. These are from the same lot. I just um, priced them down here before he took over pricing them. These are Napco Bowling. This is an $8 start on the bowling set from Napco. Uh, it does have its sticker right on the bottom of the bowling pin for Napco. It's got its stopper really good condition. Let me show you the bowling ball. The bowling ball has its sticker as well. This is the bowling ball. Really cute bowling set here. Eight dollars start. Oops. These did not have their stoppers and so I added in these these plastic ones in there um, just so they would have stoppers, but these aren't the original stoppers. I'm sure it would have had wood stoppers. This is oh, the... yeah, you, you may have to get your own forks. Yeah. I put them in there, but they don't really fit. No. I'll include them just so you have some, but um, you may want to get some little wood ones if you want. That's cool. Does the sticker say what's the sticker? It says Napco. Oh, okay. Napco's cool. Japan. Yep. What's the start on that? Eight dollars. Well, that's that's good for that. Mm -hmm. Yep, your bowling salt and pepper shakers from Napco, beautiful condition with the stickers and all of the cold paint. 
um, the cold paint is on there and it looks really nice. Yeah, you would. All right. Doesn't look like there's any interest in the bowling set, so I'm going to set that behind me here. Um, this next set I have is a set of they're from Cherokee, North Carolina. It would have been a souvenir set, a set of souvenir tombstone salt and pepper shakers. Three dollars start on these. One says here lies pepper. The other one says here lies salt. They have their stoppers, and they're about two two and a half inches tall. And what is it? Three dollars start. Three dollars start. $3 Used to be start. cute for Halloween. Yep. You flip them around the other way where it doesn't have any of the words. I, mean, I can't say I've ever seen Tombstone uh, salt and pepper shaker, but I find doing this with Miss Lorianne, there's a lot of things I've never seen before. So there you go. Okay. All right. There's that. These are a $3 start on the wooden tombstones and you can see it says here lies pepper and then here lies the salt. That one's a little darker, harder mm -hmm. to see. Oh, oh, oh. I don't see anybody in on this so we're gonna pass on those for now. We can come back to them. Up next we have a penguin. This is a three dollar start. He does have some condition issues, mostly staining. I don't know. He just needs a good cleaning here. Um, this is a Hong Kong penguin. He stands mm, about six and a half inches tall. He's a $3 start. You may be able to get some of the... Um, stains off of him. I didn't want to mess with him. I'll leave that up to you if you so decide to do so. But yeah, you could probably clean him up a bit. This is how I purchased him. Um, he's very cool. An emperor penguin, I think. I'm not sure. Emperors usually have a little tassel on top. I oh, think. okay. Oh, I see Patty at three. All right, get your bids in, folks. Patty's at three on the penguin. The 30 penguin. 30 penguin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. stop. All right, Patty, thank you so much. He's cool. I like him. Next, we have a souvenir set of wooden teapot salt and pepper shakers from Key West, Florida. $2 start. $2 start. It says Key West. I think you could paint these up and make them super duper cute. They have the corks in the bottom. Paint right around where the salt and pepper emblems are. Make them up like a fun pop of color. Uh, they would be really, really cute, I think. Gina would say, keep them wood. I say, add a pop of red. Well, you pop everything, so. I do. Two dollars, folks. That's only a dollar a piece. Where can you get that kind of quality craftsmanship for a dollar? Kettle shakers, $2 start. And from Key West. You know somebody went to Key West, bought these at a shop on the island, brought them all the way back here. Patty's in at two. Yay. 
It's afraid to be left out with nothing to boil. All right, let's start the countdown on the kettle shakers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Thank you, Patty. All right, up next we have another pair of kettles. These are, have roosters on them. Very cute set here. $5 start on these. They are both marked Japan and they have a wood stopper in the bottom. They almost look like they could be like a terracotta or something, I guess. Beautiful with the, the metal holder. They have a chicken or rooster painted on it. That's one. Here's the other one here. There may be some paint loss there, but it is still there. I'm seeing Vicky at five. You could display them this way too without the rooster showing if you so chose to. Do, do, do. All right. Oh, redware. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tammy. What's redware? I think these are redware. Look okay. at the bottom. You can see the little feet. They look like they're redware to me. Because it's um, mm -hmm. what am I thinking of? Terracotta, like a food safe terracotta, maybe. All right, let's start the countdown. Get your bids in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Thank you so much, Vicky. Thank you for your help as always, Patty. Yes. All right, these are going. I'm going to put these on the table. Next, I have Who Likes Orange? Was that Jeannie that likes orange? Yes, it was. Mid-century. Well, there's a, right when I said Jeannie, another Jeannie popped in. Hello, Jeannie. Referring to Chicago lady, but we'll take all the genies we can get. I have a set of mid-century modern, made in Japan. They had the original plastic corks that say made in Japan. Salt and pepper shakers. They are about two and a half inches tall. Have the kind of gold color top. Gold. Are those marked Japan? Yes. Okay. Mark Japan, $5 start on these. I don't know if you can see it, but inside the court it says Japan. Real pretty if you like orange especially. Yeah, they're cool. They do have that mid-century look about them for sure. Oh, you want me to cancel? Yeah. Here it goes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's got, these would be good for Halloween. Yep. $5 start. Chicago on lady orange. liked orange. She bought some orange earlier. Remember she said, I like orange? Mm -hmm. It was the World's Fair thing. Ah, World's Fair thing, yes. Yeah. P.S. Any interest in the mid-century orange salt and pepper shakers? If not, we can pass on them for now. Oh, those are so cool. I know. And they're wood. They're neat. Yep. But they didn't sell. These are going to be our two giveaways in a few moments. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty for today. We all saved some of the salt and pepper shakers um, for another day. So if we want to put... We might have... 
We just scratch the surface of salt and paper to the shakers. Oh, Lord. I'm just trying to make room here. Well, that's fine. All right. So we have a little angry penguin here. This angry penguin is a, is cute, and he is a $3 start. Look at his little face. He's like, get out of my way. I'm making my way through. He is just a little baby. I think this may be a George Good one. It's got the big G on it, made in Hong Kong. Flocked penguin. I see Chicago lady. Uh, Chicago lady, are you in on the salt and peppers? We'll come back to that for you in just one second, okay? She wants the orange one. I'm telling you. <laughs> Patty, I see you at three on the little baby penguin. Let's go ahead and start the countdown on the baby penguin here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and stop all right so patty we got you for the penguin gotcha you want this for stuff that didn't sell uh or just yeah salt and pepper shaker? you can put it right underneath yeah Here. all right and then we are back in chicago lady you have a bit of five on the Japan orange. Well, I was pushing for you, Jeannie. You disappeared on me. The salt and pepper shakers um, here. I'm pretty sure they're mid century, I would think. Maybe not. You can see, it's marked Japan. Where'd you say it was marked Japan? On the corks. Oh, the cork, the um, plastic is marked Japan. The plugs. So maybe it's not, but All I'm right. since it's wood, that's where they felt they needed to mark it. Okay. Let's go ahead and start the countdown here. We're in Chicago Ladies in at five. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Thank you so much. That's coming your way. Those are coming your way. All right. I want to do these today. You do? Yep. Okay, up next we have a really cool black bear. He is a, we'll do $5 on him. Black bear. I can't tell. I don't think it's, I think it's just a little bit of like dust and dirt just needs to be wiped off. It doesn't look like he's missing his flocking in the back. Just needs to be wiped off a bit. Um, the flocked black bear, $5 start. Thank you, Patty, for putting that in. Patty's in at five. He again has great detail. You can almost see like the ribs of fur. It's not coming across on the camera, but it has got some really cool detail on him. Maybe you can see it a little bit there. He's really cool. All right, let's start the countdown on this fella. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. Thank you, Patty. The black bear is coming your way. All right. For those of you that were enjoying all the kitchen utensils and stuff in the salt and pepper department earlier, I got real winner for you here. <laughs> These are... $15, start. Yep. They're two and a half inch diameter. We have... Check it out. Is that not 70s there or what? The avocado green. Salt and pepper shakers. They could be older than 70s, hon. Yeah, they could be. Got little rings. You could hang them. It does say patent pending on the back. You 
can see it right there. See, it looks to me like both of them have this mark. Mm hmm Like they had a sticker or something? A sticker or... What's that? What's that could have been a repair in the mold. Little frying pans. Very, yep. very cute. Salt and pepper shakers. And how do you... Oh. You pull that off. Okay. So the little top comes off here. That's how you fill them. And then you... This is cute. Yeah, because you can... Ch -ch -ch your salt and pepper. Avocado green. Oh, she has I remember these. back in the day. They probably came in orange and green. Very fun little frying pans. All right. Doesn't look like there's any interest. I'm going to show two more items, and then I have enamelware to show, and then we'll do our giveaways. You sell your enamelware? Yes. So this is a single salt and pepper shaker. He's still really cute. He's marked Anesco Japan. And it's a squirrel. It's got a sticker on his bum there. You could display this as a figurine. He is a salt and pepper, but he is all by himself. He's just got his little nut there. How does a salt and pepper come out? Right here. What's this just one then? That's what I just said. He's said single. salt and pepper. Yeah, he's a single. Well, you could mix salt and pepper and put it all in as one. What's wrong with that? If you're going to use salt and pepper. So he's a single salt and pepper. I think he's probably the pepper. He's got three holes. $4 start on the UNESCO squirrel. Basically a figurine at this point, unless you have the, the uh, match to him. Maybe you need this one for your set. He is super cute. His cute little face. Look at the eyelashes. Cute for fall. This would be a great piece to use in an assemblage, right? Thank you, Patty, for putting that in. He is really cute. Great craft piece here. He does have that mid-century look to him. And he has his Anesco sticker still on his tushy. All right, we'll pass on him. Okay. And the last set of salt and pepper shakers today are these adorable Ralco Japan cows. $12 start. They do have their Ralco sticker on their tushy. Um, well, that one does. This one has it on its stomach. They're the Crazy Cows from Relco, $12 for the pair. This is one here. Yes, with some, or even some acorns would be really cute too, right? This is the one, and you hold them by their tails. And the second one Gino has there. So you would hang them by, you would hold them by the tail? You would hold them like this. Well, right? I guess. Yeah. Crazy little cows here from Ralco, both with their stickers, Vintage Japan. Thank you, Patty, for putting that in. Really, yeah, really cute. Going, man. It's going pretty good. I'd like to step by your house and hang out. <laughs> I can distribute some salt and pepper if you know what I mean. They have their um, corks in their tummies. Yep. Crazy Cows, $12 start. We can set those aside. All right, so we're past almost 3.30. We're going to end it by 3.30 here. All right, we have some enamelware. I have two pieces of vintage enamelware. Um, this bowl here is a $30 start. This is a large enamelware bowl in this beautiful green-blue color. Nine inch. Nine inch. Four inches. Nine, nine inches in diameter, four inches tall. Beautiful enamel wear. $30 start on the big bowl here. And this is old. This isn't reproduction. This is old enamel wear. 
in this beautiful color. Um, we have the smaller bowl here, $18 start on the small one. This one is five, five, and a half. five and a half in diameter by four. By four. Beautiful color. $18 on the small one, $30 on the big one. You can see the, the size comparison. I love the color. I haven't seen this color in enamel where you can flip them over, display on top. You can use them. I could see this with some raspberries or strawberries in it on the counter. Really pretty. Um, this one is great too. Beautiful. These came from the Tony Paco estate mm -hmm. that we went to. They These went were the basement. We found 60, 70, 80 year old mm -hmm. cooking supplies. Yeah. Um, from their original restaurant, as far as we know. Beautiful enamelware. So um, if anybody's interested, you can definitely message me on those. I'm pretty firm on my price on those. Mm -hmm. If they don't sell, I'm going to keep them. I've, I've never seen this color. Yeah, I really like them. There, these were hidden in this little cabinet behind a. Um, there was a big cabinet out in the garage that was open, and it had dried flowers and those old crocs in it. And so you had to pull the door back, and then you would see. Actually, it was an old refrigerator behind there. I opened the refrigerator. These were in there. They had a big stock pot one that I, I didn't get. I wish I did. Or, or no, it was a, a turkey like roaster. Was it this color? Uh huh turkey roaster in the same color because I couldn't carry it all. Well, you could have said so. Well, you were I just standing fine. out in the front room. Yeah, you could have said so. Well, I couldn't because you weren't out there to mm -hmm. help me. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there anything anybody wants to see before we do our last giveaway? We have... Um, scrapbook didn't sell we have three ephemera card packs the boxer print some of the little um the raccoons here the set and then the little scrappy set here of the four five 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 little critters in there five each the rooster stack okay i know which one you're talking about Oh, yeah. That's really unique. I'm surprised it did not drop it. <laughs> $12 start on this rooster stack. Um, it is marked Japan. It might be redware, too. Yeah, this is probably redware. Oh, I almost flipped the spoon out. But it is not marked. This is yeah. the bottom. Yeah, that's marked Japan on the top one. So he's got the sugar bowl. This is the salt and pepper. Sugar bowl with the spoon. Mm -hmm. All right, we're counting it down for you. We're gonna call it sold. Thank you. I'm gonna go set this over on the table. Uh, Patty, we have these two raccoons here. Uh, eight dollars for the set so they were four a piece and then the set of five Gino can show you those real quick I'm gonna walk the set over to the table and I'll be right back yes they do stack on top of each other yeah we just tried to take it apart so we didn't drop it you're welcome Vicki glad you liked it I hope you liked it I hope you like it I got a reboot. Uh, I don't know. Remind so, everyone that invoices and packing happen on Sunday. Invoices and packing happen on Sunday. You may get them earlier. Depends on the schedule. Yeah, you could get them earlier. But Sunday will be the latest. You'll see invoices. When you pay, I ship the next day. If it's a you know Monday or through Friday. It. Yeah, it depends. If I have a bunch that we invoice for Sunday and a bunch of them get paid, more pay Monday when I wake up. I just take them all of them. Wherever they're going and ship them. This is the $8 set of raccoons. Uh, 
I do have another batch of um, flocked animals. I have giraffe, zebra, lions, another camel, kangaroo, deer, and a hippo. But those will come on another sale. And this is a five dollar set of seals and whatnot for four dollars. Um, on the raccoons, certainly for you. For you, Patty, I will. The sold raccoons are sold to Patty for six dollars. What? Yep. Coming your way. That's a deal at twice the price. Yeah. What about the scrappy, the scrappy crew here? You got seals, a rabbit, kitty cat, a mouse. Four dollars. Can't beat it. These are the um Oh, we have this raccoon here too, the brown raccoon. Those are the last of the um, flocked animals. Daddy wants a four dollar scrappy crew. Gotcha. And then we've got this brown raccoon. He is the last one of the flocked for today. He's three dollars. He's like, you took all my friends and family. Do I get to go with them or I got to sit here by myself? It's dark down here, and Chuck Letta bothers me at night. Patty, you're in at two on that guy. We gotcha. All right, so Patty, the, all those flocked ones are coming your way, okay? Anybody going to Springfield? I want to say hi. You can get your picture with me. And my one good two. All right. We do have a giveaway here. Um, we have I have a little parrot bird um, figurine here. I'm guessing Japan on this one. And Gino, what do you have? Uh, was there a billy goat? There was. The billy goat sold. I thought that you bought it. Someone bought it. It has sold. What is this? That's your giveaway item. Do you want to go first this time? So before you give a number, if you purchased anything on Monday or today, you can participate in the giveaway. We'll add it to your order, okay? Um, so if you- So if you um, didn't buy something real quick so you can get in on this. <laughs> yeah. So Gino, what do you have to give away? Oh, look at the little fella. He's a little flocked bear. Like, Hi. And you know what? If you type in the number 70, I could be yours. 7070. First person to type in 70 wins the little bear. Oh, looks like Patty grabbed it. Patty, you got all the flocked stuff today. <laughs> Jerry, you were right behind on that one. Patty, you got that cutie coming your way. All right, up next, we have my little giveaway, which is this adorable little parrot figurine here. There's no marking on it. I'm guessing it is Japan. Beautiful condition. And the first person to type in the number 29. 29 gets the parrot. Oh, I see Roger's family's little blue fiber mill. It was, um, Roger, it's for people that purchased an item. I can't ship it out separate. So the giveaway is going to go to Jerry. Jerry was next in line. But hello, Roger. Roger's Roger family's family. little blue fiber mill. How are you doing today? You look new to our channel. Yes. Welcome. Sorry about any misunderstanding there. Um, these, these little freebies, I just will go in a box with whatever else somebody would have purchased during the week. Yeah. Unless you purchase under a different name, let us know. Um, we'll do a, a giveaway for you. But we add these to the orders, the existing orders. Yeah. And if you... Uh, Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Chicago. If you think you're going to be uh, purchasing from us, which we hope you do, please send... What happened to your email address? Oh, it's coming through on our, on the banner. Send yeah. your contact information, address, all that good stuff, right email there. to 
sweet Adeline. That's three E's in sweet at AOL.com. And I'll enter you in our contact list system. Yep. All right. Before we end it today, was there anything else anybody wants to see? Yes. Welcome, mm -hmm. Roger family. Fiber mill. Do you do wool? Because I do felting, so that's kind of exciting if you do wool. Yeah. Um, was there anything anyone else wanted to see before we end it today? We have the scrapbook, the crayon set, which was really cool from the 60s, I think the um, boxer print two of the uh, japan beautiful art alt figurines my that... name is tom lee roger just found you yes we do wool <gasps> well awesome you just made a new friend here for sure hi donna lee that's awesome i need to be getting some wool soon so if you do wool for felting i might might be uh, checking out your page there so I can order. Helen, you're breaking up. I can't read what you're saying. Sing my lovely lady lumps. I'm my not lumps. singing any lumps. You sing it. Yes, she requested I that. I have to be in the car with the windows up and then I may or may not sing. <laughs> Look, Tammy said yes. Gina. He does the whole like pointing at his elbow. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's a sign that I'm not supposed to sing <laughs> yeah, right there. That was my mom saying, Gino. Yeah. Don't sing. Something just fell over here, a bag. <laughs> it's like, don't sing, please. That's too funny. You guys are mean. Um, just mean. Just a quick recap, though. We had the Flamingo gift letter Ooh, set there you here. Go. Oh. Are you in the United States? Next question. <laughs> We never know where people are located, so. We have three ephemera card lots. These are unused vintage cards. They look like they're from like the 70s. They're pretty fun. You get a stack of them, $15. <laughs> and I have three sets available on the vintage cards. You don't want to hear him sing. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh, cool. Well, you don't know much about us. We just moved uh, from California back to Ohio last year because we're originally from this area. We were in the Bay Area in California for 21 years. Yep. I have the little piggies here. One does have a crack. They kind of look like the little Shawnee pigs. This one does have a crack on it. Goes around to the back. These are $3. Just for a quick recap. The uranium glass bowl guess you can we'll see it, it glow there right it does glow this was $12 it does have a little flea bite chip on the rim um, the salt and pepper cows the H and H cleaner well we're happy you found us too uh, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube yes. channel and if you can follow uh, Sugar Bitches on Instagram. That's where I advertise on Instagram. She's Check also us out. on Facebook. Yep. Feel free to friend, friend me on any of those. Yep. And we can uh, definitely out follow each other and all that fun stuff. Um. Yeah, we used to get wool up in uh, was Placerville. Yep, at a store there. There was a mm -hmm. store that had a lot of different kinds of wool there and other things. The little parrot planter or toothpick holder. This one was $4. I'm just doing a quick recap here before we end it. I have the handled core. It's a core and a peeler all in one, a vintage one for $6. You had the um, salt and peppers. I think it was Christmas mice. I don't know what that one is. The green glass light bulbs, salt and pepper shakers, the Texas salt and sh pepper shakers, and the toaster, the salt and pepper shakers, which was really cute. This one was $15. Yeah. The best thing to do for the Rogers family and everybody else that may have started the show a little later or just popped in is if you have time, please rewatch the video from the beginning and then email uh, 
Lorianne with any requests you'd have to purchase items or if you're curious if they're still available. Um, there's a good chance if you didn't see it sold on the show, it's probably still available. But sometimes, you know, people email and yep. off it goes. Vintage ashtrays. These are aluminum ashtrays from back in like the 70s. These are new. 60s probably. Oh, 60s. 60s uh, five dollars for a set of four. These are great to craft with. Uh, for the Christmas tree, you put your picture or something on an aluminum tree. These would be really cool to craft with because they're really going to reflect. Yeah. Um, coasters. I guess in the fifth, we used to always had glass ashtrays at restaurants when I was a kid, but I think people took them. And this was probably a less expensive alternative to replacing glass ashtrays all the time. Because you would have your advertising in the bottom of the ashtray. And yes. It always ended up missing. And Patty, uh, just a sneak peek for you before we end it or anybody that's interested. Um, these are some of the flocked animals that will come next time. We have a rhinoceros. I'm just going to scoot these over just to make a little bit of room. This is one of my favorites here, the hippo. These are going to be priced a little higher because they're more like in perfect condition. A huge deer. I tried to mix it up, you know, and add a little bit of everything, but I have had these animals for a long time. So I thought it was time to move Thank them you, along. Tammy. You never know what we're going to sell. Yeah. <laughs> or offer another for sale. camel. We never know what we're actually going to sell. I pick up some weird stuff, right? We got a kangaroo with its baby. This one's one of my favorites. It's a beaver with this little piece of wood, the beaver guy. This one's amazing too. It's an alligator. When do you see a flocked alligator? We have one. Um, these three here are actually in poor shape. They need their, their fur replaced. These are the lions. They need their fur replaced around their heads. You can see it's come off. And the, um, polar bear has some discoloration on one side. So he needs a little love to him. The giraffe, again, he's a little, you've got the giraffe baby, but you also have the big giraffe but he does have some damage on his leg right there. It needs to be glued. So the giraffes and two more. This leopard, he's really cool. And then the set of zebras. So these flocked animals will be in the next sale so be on the lookout for that. Um, I don't know if it'll be the next sale, but like a sale coming up. Because I think next week we might go back to doing books for next week. Have a book sale. I don't know if we're having a sale next week. Oh, we're out of town. Yeah, we're going to be in Springfield. Is that next week? Well, this weekend's Labor Day weekend. Oh. But I, believe, I think. Let me see here. Today is the... 30th, right? I think it's 30th today. You too, Tomorrow's Gino. 31st. You too, Jeannie. Gino. <laughs> he said Gino. <laughs> Man. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Jeannie. 13th, 4th, is it the 13th, 14th, 15th? It's like 14th, 15th. So 14th, not, 15th, 16th? Not next week. It's the following week, right? This weekend is Labor Day weekend. Uh -huh. The following weekend is 14, 15, 16, 17. That sounds about right? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, we might not have a sale yeah, next week because next we'll week, be out of town. We're going to be gone for four days, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I know I sound like a broken record, but we will be at the Springfield Extravaganza. Uh, we will be staying uh, in the same area as Misty and Michael. Um, a lot of resellers there, Misty, yeah, Michael. There's, yeah, if you get a chance to go and it's within your... I think Real Nifty Vintage and your, Barb. 
wheelhouse, you should go. It's really fun. I don't time. think Pamela is able to go. Um, yeah, there's going to be quite a few people. And I think we're going to take Chuck Letta, just in case so many people ask about her. I think we'll take her and put her in the wagon with us, and then somebody runs into us. You can get your picture with Chuck Letta. You definitely need to go, Nancy. We went for the first time last year, and it was amazing. Yeah. We were only there how many days last year? Two? We spent Friday night and Saturday. Well, we... We came, yeah. We went part of the day Friday, all day Saturday, went part of the day Sunday. We were there three And then days drove Saturday. home. And we're, we still didn't see it all. No. We're we still didn't see it all. We're going to leave town Thursday and get settled in Thursday evening in Urbana. Where, Thank uh, you, Vicki. Have a great weekend. Yeah. And then we'll be going in all day Friday, all day Saturday. And if we're so inclined, we may go back on Sunday. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so you may not see us next week because we'll be in Springfield, but we'll be picking up goodies to bring back to you the following week. Yeah, and the following week, we may or may not have a Monday sale because if we get back late Sunday, we won't be able to be set up Monday for the sale. sale. Yeah, I but... would say after today, you're not going to see us till what, a week from two weeks from today, basically. Wow, yeah. Two weeks from today. Okay. To so if you bought Monday. something from us Monday or today, we pack up on Sunday. So I'll box all of this up and we'll get you invoiced. It may happen a little sooner. It depends on mm -hmm. my work schedule, um, what I have going on. Sometimes if she gets half of it packed up, I'll just go ahead and mm -hmm. invoice it because it's, you know, a lot of work. And so you may get an invoice sooner, you may not. Yeah. But definitely by Sunday. Um, and then he will get them out. So if there's anything you saw that you want to add to your order, it gives you a little bit of leeway yep. to get that in. <laughs> Wear proper shoes. He wore sandals last year, and I had to hear about it for oh eight God. months. So Here we go. I, you I, have to say that, Helen, right? <laughs> I've never really wore sandals, and we moved back here. Somebody talked me into sandals. I like them now. I wear them all summer. Well, last year, we just get used to them, and I wore them all three days at the extravaganza. And, oh, man. Oh, man. It was about three or four months of ouch when I got home. And it finally went away. So, Goodness gracious. We'll, we'll see. We'll, you'll take some tennis shoes, too, just in case. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a wonderful week. Rest of your week, and have a good weekend. We'll see you just as soon as we can after Springfield. I will yep. post on Instagram when I'm having the sale. So just keep an eye open and there. I would say two weeks from today is the next time you'll see us. Bye, everyone. Unless we see you in Springfield. Yeah. Okay, let's end it with a little song. Happy birthday no. to you. My humps. How does it go? I don't know. My lumps or is it my humps? My lovely lady lumps. All right, kids. You're not going to give them even a little? No. Oh, you're mean. All right. You all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you later. All right. Have Goodbye. a good one. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Hope to run into you in Springfield. Take Look care. us up if you're there. Bye-bye.